funny when we're live. Live. Captain's log, stardate 54350.0. The USS Kismet has been tasked with meeting the Romulan cruiser Takao at Starbase 10 to retrieve Centurion Scapitus, a member of the Romulan Imperial Navy who is guarding a rather valuable Tri-Nimbus device, a Romulan machine that serves as a temporary atmospheric shield generator for use on planets with incredibly harsh atmospheres that are hostile to colonization efforts, while more permanent uh, buildings and weather mitigation devices can be constructed. The generator's most unique feature is that it doesn't require any kind of power reactor and is self sustaining uh, self-sufficient for 10 years. Scapitus is going to be escorted by us to Starbase 21, along with the generator, where another ship will be carrying him to his final destination with the device. End log. Oops, no. There we go. Thought you in the wrong room. Uh, we start off in sick bay of the Kismet. As after a bit of finagling and a bit of uh, scheduling, Dr. Afrix is finally freed up to attend to. Uh, Commander Penn's <laughs> uh, Commander Penn's issues. Uh, Efrix, um, Penn, you a lot of your a lot of the uh, what's tied up your character for the last couple of sessions. Uh, the way I put it is that Penn's among the various medical requirements asked of you of the massive amount of injured aboard not only the Kismet but of uh, people who the Kismet was uh, bringing along and then helping out at Starfleet Medical. On top of all that, Commander Pen has probably the worst record of them all and honestly should be dead. There are two different reasons he should be dead. And he somehow is just barely alive uh, through some rather experimental methods used at Starfleet Medical. However, uh, you have a couple of problems. Uh, one, uh, his old um, uh, prosthetic that he had for his leg uh, no longer works because he had extensive nerve damage. Uh, also, he has, well, extensive nerve damage, so now he has a very hard time feeling things. Uh, by the end of it, uh, because the patient uh, refused to stay in bed longer than a couple of days at a time, uh, his recovery time has not really been very fruitful. Um, and then he signed himself out of Starfleet Medical. Uh, so now uh, he is, he still has uh, two main issues. One, he's, he lacked feeling. Uh, like he can't feel, he has a, his sense of touch is messed with, and he needs a. Uh, the only prosthetic he has is basically a very basic, somewhat cobbled together uh, leg that, on the record, appears uh, Ensign Haran uh, had assembled and uh, in a hurry as uh, the incident over Earth and such uh, required a immediate solution rather than the best solution. Um. Eventually, you were finally able to harangue Pend uh, back into sickbay because you haven't had a chance to actually examine him yourself. And he still has medical issues. And there is a question of whether he's medically fit for duty. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Now that I'm in the right Star Trek game... <laughs> Like, where's my character? She doesn't exist. Found her. It's fine. You uh, mean not seeing any right. of my roles? Right. <clears throat> oh, okay, so... Oh, yeah, I'll be talking to you, Aron. But also, <laughs> you're not allowed in in med bay so it makes it difficult <laughs> uh so yeah you've had a chance to you're in your office you finally caught up to what's happened to your patient 
Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think the, the, the nerve damage is the more pressing issue. Um, Okay. Uh, treatment for that. Um, <clears throat> do. So, what are you going to stick and prod me with today, Doctor? Well, I'm debating whether or not I need to tie you to the bed permanently I mean that's just in my personal time so let's be professional <laughs> well at least you can make jokes uh... So the reports I've gotten on the damage, um, what kind of treatments have already been tried? Anything? Or has he just run out every time they've tried to? Uh, they put in some uh, drugs like Alkazine to help deal with uh, the spinal injury he suffered. Mm -hmm. um, there was some erythazine uh, put in because uh, during his encounter on uh, Archon, he was subjected to some low levels of radiation. Uh, but that was done early on. That was done by Black Bullet way early on. Uh, so cortisine was used to restart his heart and had to be used multiple times on his trip back to uh, Earth because he kept oh, good. his he kept dying. Like his heart would just stop and like, oh no, he died again. <laughs> so uh, his heart's doing great right now with exposure to that much of it over uh, yeah. an mm -hmm. amount of time. Uh, so Dermaline. Uh, or tried dermaline because he suffered more than just secondary burns because he was crispy, to put it that way. Um, <laughs> uh, for some, he's been administering some hydrocortisone to himself. Uh, of course, that, he has. Uh, given that he's been suffering severe headaches on a regular basis. I mean, when you put this all together, it sounds pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and really, there's been a lot of dermal and uh, neural uh, regeneration, some a lot mm -hmm. of experimental work. So, he's yes. his body without Sarfi Medical at San Fran, uh, he would be unresponsive, he'd just be yeah. kept alive by holographics and uh, the computer. Right now, he can move around, but, but he shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. And a certain doctor, uh, gave him an emergency clearance pending further review by the chief medical officer. And that was your uh, surgeon who kind of did a bit of medical paperworkism to kind of, he's, he was on duty until you say he isn't. And when you finally looked at it and said, he's not, it's like, I didn't, I'm not going over your head. I don't outrank you. I'm not saying I do. <laughs> don't fire me, please. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get it. Um, that was Dr. Vermeer. So really, he just needs, yeah, he, he really just needs to detox and stay in bed. Look, I'll stop running into fires when there's no fires to put out. It's called delegation. Yeah, I've not figured that one out yet. <clears throat> what do you want to try to fix first? Uh... <laughs> I guess I'd like to take a look at his heart because that's concerning. <laughs> with that much exposure. <clears throat> uh, give me a reason medical role. Um, we're going to call this uh, difficulty one since you're in mid bay. Okay. Um, 
do xenobiology? Uh, yes. Yay, one momentum. Woo! Uh, thankfully, due to his Telluride uh, biology, he's actually uh, fairly resilient, and he's actually taken the drug regimens uh, fairly well. In fact, the higher levels that they put in him are kind of reflecting the fact that his body was sort of rejecting the drugs that were trying to help him. Okay. So, uh, even though they kind of went, even for a Telluride, they used more than was really needed, uh, precisely, or is re recommended, his body is kind of uh, dealing with it fairly well. Yeah, he's not in danger of overdosing or going into shock because of drug exposure cool uh yeah. that's good and he's had a few uh, days to kind of part of the part of him sitting in the hospital is just for it to for him yeah. just to sit there and let his body process it out out yeah that's why him moving around kind of helped because it increased his blood flow his blood rate so yeah <laughs> well help that it was detrimental to other things. Yes. Um, okay, the spinal injury is the next. Uh, it looks like uh, a lot of the damage was um, energy that went from through the spine and then it shocked out to the rest of the system. Okay. So um, you do have the tools. I believe you do. I'm not to make sure I'm not lying to you. Um, <laughs> it looks like I'm torturing you because your token is screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, all this keeps happening, but don't forget, the GM kidnapped me and left me in an alleyway as well. <laughs> uh, you can perform a rather risky... Uh neural uh regeneration uh the, there are tools of in that nature in the sick bay uh, it's a type of uh, neural surgery though it's very mm -hmm. delicate and if you do it wrong you can actually accidentally Paralyze kill him. him or kill him yeah because then his lungs forget to you know breathe his heart stops you know that sort of thing it's like yeah. right now his sense of yeah. touch is gone if it gets worse he starts losing other functions yeah and it becomes a sympathetic nervous system that shuts down which is worse I'd like to see you more recovered before we attempt anything like that. Um, I mean, you could always ask for the meth to help. She's a surgeon, Doctor. She is. But I'd like to see you more stable overall before we attempt such a risky surgery. <clears throat> oh, you know, fun. <laughs> Uh, gosh, you have so many injuries. <laughs> <laughs> Deciding what to prioritize is a... Um... Uh... Dermal regeneration has already been happening, right? Yeah, For his skin's fine. His skin's okay. fine, thankfully. Um, now, were yeah. were his lungs or anything affected by that? Uh, thankfully, no. Okay. Um, yeah. It it seems to be primary neural damage. Uh, a lot of the burns and uh, skin. Uh, an organ damage was repaired on route okay. uh, to Earth and at Earth. So the two main things are the um, the nerve damage and his prosthetic. Those are the two things that haven't been treated. Pretty much, <laughs> and the possibility he's okay. self-medicating. Well, yeah, but it's <laughs> he's always been self-medicating. I've been trying to get him not to, but that's not really 
That's the counselor. <laughs> That's not me. <laughs> po possibility. I'm not. I don't think I need to check his prostate. Thank you. <laughs> um. Oh no. No, 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 no. Does that happen you. when she also ties me to the bed? No. Oh, no. Stop. <laughs> PG-13. So, um... But that that's that, that's the... Those are the two main things, yeah. Damage and prosthetic. Uh, and actually, the prosthetic is complicated by the fact there's neural systems damage. It's damaged, so it, it, it yeah. isn't interacting with them correctly. So it really needs to be that first. Um, okay. So the the surgery is one option. Is there another treatment process, or is that the most likely to help? That's the <clears> fastest <throat> and gets him uh, fit for duty, fit for duty quicker. quicker. Uh, the other one, you can turn it into a more extended task where it's a slow physio neural therapy where you're kind of doing little bits at a time. It mm -hmm. means that he'll be he'll still be kind of fit for duty, but he has to come in like every day yeah. to, have, to have a little bit healed, stop, a little bit healed, stop, and just doing that over and over. And it'll be light duty, it won't be. It would take like, it, it would, it's something that would take over the course of a month, maybe longer. <laughs> um, and if you screw up, well, he won't die, but he'll be, he, he might be more sensitive to pain than normal. Mm -hmm. um, So yeah, that's a conversation that I will have with you then. Um, so it looks like we have two treatment options for you, Pend. Um, one is a risky uh, experimental surgery. We'll get you fit for duty quicker. But if something goes wrong, it could mean your life. And option two? Option two is a longer stint of physical therapy uh, up to a month, maybe longer of light duty. Uh, and you'll have to come here every day. My track record says I'd make a terrible patient every day. Yeah. There are worse. Well, at least you haven't tried to strangle me. Well, which if... the last three patients have done. So, Oh, no. Well, to be fair, I'm not a violent person. But if you went ahead with the brain surgery, do you believe you'd kill me? I'd do everything in my power not to. And I would, of course, have Dr. Bumeth with me. Well, one of the reasons why I didn't report what you did previously is because I believe you're a highly competent doctor. So go ahead. I think it's also something we should perhaps discuss with the captain. No, he's just going to say do the month long. Mm-hmm. Look, one of the you reasons... You are his XO. Yeah. True, but one of the reasons why I had to leave the hospital on Earth was to help deal with the Adler situation. I was also kidnapped on Earth. So it's not like I didn't... I just kept leaving on purpose. Every time I try to rest, stuff comes up. So the sooner I'm ready for duty, the better. I really would like to have more momentum before we do this. It's fine. Uh, all right. If that is your decision, you, I believe, are of sound mind, despite the fact that you've been self-medicating and you're pinned. I mean, alcohol is not medication, but sure. Mm, not talking about the alcohol. 
I mean, I've got a high tolerance for drugs, so I do need to up it to get the effect. Hmm. All right. Uh, let me consult with Dr. Vermeth and we'll get underway. Thank you very much, Doctor. I will walk into my office and call the captain. <laughs> okay. I assume you're going to call up to me and yeah. I'm probably in my ready room. Dr. Efrix to Captain Grinnan. Captain, here. Captain, I believe we have a course of uh, action to follow to treat Commander Penn. I just wanted to let you know he will be going into surgery. Um, it'll be delicate, so he, myself, and several of the other medical staff will be indisposed until it is completed. Understood. You have uh, my permission to lock down a uh, uh, to lock down a sick bay for the procedure uh, if you deem it necessary so as to not be disturbed. Very well, Captain. I just wanted to let you know. I assume that um, uh, when will you be starting it? Well, I'd like to start as soon as possible, Captain, but if you need us to hold off, we can. Uh, no, not at this very moment. Uh, just let me know when you are about to proceed. Very just well. so that I may be aware. Will do, Captain. Thank you, Doctor. And I'll call up the meth and we'll start coming up with plan on how to operate on pin because that's what we're doing i guess <laughs> uh, gm question yeah i assume i'd be able to talk to them both just before they put me under correct one could assume such a thing yes well just before when it's decided what they're actually doing is it possible that i could direct them I would say no. I would say no in this case. <laughs> I was say, they're probably going to be putting you under. No, I just if anything, like, if anything, Efrix could direct the meth or something to that effect or direct you to do help or something with medically, but in this case, the direct is on her end, not yours. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, just as a reminder, as we go through this, um, the options we've got for doing any kind of surgery here is, don't forget, you can also activate the EMH. Yeah, it's a possibility. Uh, Extra on. hands. Yep, and there's also um, there's also the medical equipment that I want to make sure you've got, uh, you, you are aware that you can use. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's, um, because I feel like there are a couple. Um, Is it? You're looking for uh, page pressure 50. field. Um, oh, already there. This device is available in every modern sick bay and hospital. It generates a weak force field that can be precisely calibrated and directed so that the force applies pressure during surgery cannot be used to stop bleeding until a blood vessel can be repaired. In other situations, precise, precise gentle pressure is needed. Physicians who use pressure fields during surgery may re-roll one d. And don't forget to use a steri field because failing to use one requires the person doing it to not get infected. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I think that is. Uh, I think that's it. 
Because uh, what are the um, what are the, yeah, uh, what are the um, what are the things that you actually have to do during this surgery, doctor? Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, in essence, he needs to be opened up, his spine exposed, and various nerves, and be uh, each of them have to be sort of regen, almost dermal regenerated, except it's at the neural level. And you need to Ooh. get down in there and actually very slowly and carefully regenerate it and not do too much because you're applying an energy uh, feel, uh, energy source into someone's neural system. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you mess that up, you actually might fry things. And yeah. it's really, it's easier yeah. to regenerate something that's already there than to regenerate something you just turned into carbon. <laughs> yep. And uh, don't forget, you also have the neural calipers that you can use to put them under. You also shoot them. I mean, I like that idea. That puts them under, too. It's always a uh, I volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> no. We're not <laughs> shooting pins. Yes. Don't forget about ketamine. Yep. Nope. Uh, I'm trying to find where all my drugs are at in the science division. Yeah, Ooh. the, the, the uh, uh, <clears throat> page 53 and all the medical equipment. For that yeah. alkacine alkacine is actually like the neural drug yeah. used immediately after a payment uh patient suffers a neurological damage like a spinal injury this drug usually lessens the effects of the damage although that's right after the damage yeah occurs. he's already had a bunch of it yeah so uh yes yeah, sounds like you're just gonna need um you're really just gonna need to get in there. so it's so, an experimental surgery um Ooh. Can I do a little bit of research on the person that's that's done the or the the um, procedure itself? The cases where it's been theorized or or performed in the past. Let me let me guess. One Lieutenant Worf. <laughs> that's one example, uh, actually. Okay. I was gonna say, and... actually, isn't this exactly that? I said Penn's spine is in one piece, surprisingly. Yeah, so I don't that, have anything this even... for research, so probably not a focus. Was he had a research uh, focus? Yeah. Yeah, so no. instead of having to instead of having to clone his entire spine, you just have to clone you just have to clone a couple small parts of it. Oh, it's a large section of the nerve system. Take yeah. a cautious so I can hear. Okay, so one point's going poof. Oh, Penn has it. You got it. You have it. Woo! Gaining momentum back. So you've created the advantage that you've read up on the procedure uh, and the various. And uh, there are uh, all of five doctors in Starfleet that have perform mm -hmm. this uh, experiment outside of uh, medical experiment labs. Uh, two of okay. those people died. Cool. Good. Oh, that, that's uh, better than 50% odds so far. And I mean, uh, were those the first? Uh, the Were those the first ones, or? It's only been performed five times. Most people, when they have that much damage, just die. <laughs> yeah. There's, you, there's not a, the, the sample size is fairly small. Yeah. Right. Um. So it could have been complications just from their injuries, not even necessarily the surgery itself. Um. Do do do. More research, maybe. Uh, the doctors that performed it. Um, mm -hmm. Have any of are are any of them still around? Are they? Oh yeah, they're all currently serving. There's okay, uh, like Doctor Crusher, for example. Uh, she's mm -hmm. still in service. There's a few other doctors. Uh, of one of the ones that died, that doctor actually resigned after that incident. Cool. That's not cool. <laughs> um, it's not. 
<laughs> but I don't know. What am I supposed to say? Fuck. Okay. Um. Bye. Uh, all right. Uh, that wasn't Efrix talking. That was Jessica. Um. <clears throat> cool. All uh, right. Um. So discussing plan of action with the math. Um. Aw. Bill 20's being me. It'll work fine the minute the session's over. You watch. Oh, probably. <sighs> uh, she's got a surgery focus, correct? I have... Would xenoimmunology help me in this or no? Yes. Okay. Because I think my my skills are still going to be higher, but could be. Do, do, do. Okay. Let's you're also trying to make sure that hit that when you regenerate the nerve endings, it doesn't accidentally uh you don't yeah mess with it j just enough for his body to start rejecting his nerves. Uh, well, our uh, our. <laughs> This would be control medicine to perform the surgery. Actually, I correct myself. i would be control because it's surgery, fine motors and all that. Yeah. Hey, okay. I already did. That's why it's diff five instead of lower. This was um, easier, but uh, you kind of run around and stuff, so. Yeah. So she and I actually have the same... Uh same skill level at that because I have a five in medicine but only a nine in control and she has a ten in control and a four in medicine. Yeah. It's shocking um, no talents. I mean I guess we could add one, but <laughs> did you do I do have doctor's orders. Uh you also have the um medical uh staff advantage. Yeah. Yeah, because we're definitely em employing more than just she and I in surgery. We need. Yeah, there's probably like a, a small army nurses of and, assistants. Yeah. So Do you want to bring the advantage. difficulty or the complication? <clears throat> um, what's the complication? Two currently. Uh, Two. I'd do is and the I'd, difficulty is five. Yes. I'd bring down. I'd bring down the difficulty because while you're using the presser field, you automatically have a. Mm-hmm. Uh, could I create an advantage? I mean, what advantage are you hoping to create? Unconscious. Well, just in the situation where we had um, Captain Vex trying to read Pen's mind, but he used his training to counter it. Is it possible mm -hmm. for Pen to set his own mind into complete relaxation to try and make it easier for the surgery to happen? Uh, the neural calipers will knock you out. Uh, that would be something I would use if you were like, if you were in the field, mm -hmm. calipers with them. You'd be like, "Well, I'll put myself out." I mean, I'm still kind of conscious, but I'm just gonna think my way out of the pain. I mean, it's um, worth a go. Yeah, yeah. But something okay. to keep in mind if you're having field surgery done to you, which that may happen sooner than you think. Oh God. <laughs> um, <laughs> or whatever Denobi ones believe in. So, um, uh, so yeah, don't forget, you can activate the EMH Mark II. That's an additional NPC that does have a surgery focus. I'm only allowing yeah. one one uh, other yeah. assistant so other than the and medical I think, staff. I think uh, she's a better choice because she has neurology and surgery. Uh, it's for what Denovulans believe in, marriage. I, you're not wrong. Uh, well, I'm already in trouble with that, so... Cool. Should we give us... Uh, <laughs> Um, all right. So I think, I think it makes the most sense for me, me to lead it because I have cautious. Yes. Yeah. Um, Remember, said, if you kill him, myth is the XO. <laughs> complication two, you said? Yes. Uh, Technically, if she kills me, she's the XO. Uh, so, 
Uh, might, uh, might, uh, are you giving any kind of determination or anything? Or I'm going to, just, yeah. I'm just setting up everything else that I need. Uh, so you're um, gonna need to give him another threat in order to spend the momentum. Yeah. I mean, wouldn't you prefer the determination in case you hit one of the comps? Uh, she already, she automatically has a reroll for, she, she'll automatically have a reroll for the presser field and a reroll for the, uh, cautious. Well, I'm just trying to not die here. No, yeah. the, she's got two rerolls. That's generally enough. Unless you pull me and roll three complications. Like last week. At like, once. Like a moron. Hey, it's not like I willed them and to all be 20s. Challenge, and then I'll challenge something. Um, yeah. You have so what, options, is I think the point. Um, so I'm going to let the captain know that we are going to be beginning surgery shortly all right uh um set up you don't have the equipment don't... oh yes. sorry whatever Go ahead, Cap. whatever equipment whatever equipment you need to have it done just you know you size get it done uh don't feel any need to uh keep me updated until the surgery is done and pen isn't very just well captain focus Focus on uh, the task. Um, so I'm going to get all of the equipment we need. Uh, we have our staff with us. Meth and I are scrubbed up and ready to go. Uh, just the Kismet assist. Let me think. I feel like this is one of those things where the ship is supposed to be able to assist. Me. I think we decided difficulty. No, it's not the difficulty. It's staff. What, what what task does? No, no, no. For for the staff, I think oh, we yeah. decided the difficulty. Oh yeah, the staff and the difficulty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say the ship doesn't assist. It's kind of what's making it possible to do this experiment in the first this uh, this method in the first place. place. That's fair. That you have the facility of a. Okay, I mean, I'll go with that. Yeah. Yeah. So we have the the pressure fields, the stereo field, the mm -hmm. the technology the calipers um, to to put them under. We have the technology to rebuild him. Can we oh, rebuild yeah. him? We've kind of already should started. We? Uh, <laughs> should we? <laughs> Do we really want to? Uh, we have to. All right, Mister Pinned. Count backwards from twenty. Just not me how. You heard the man shoot him. <laughs> I'm using the calipers. Suddenly, you barter through the wall. Places them on his forehead, they start blinking, and then he's out. Alrighty. So I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I think I have two options. Um... Either uh, we endure hardship so others don't have to, or a starship is a home, her crew, a family. Um, since I'm working on one of the crew. <clears throat> I'll give you a uh, starship is a home, crew is a family. Okay. Also, you have do all the good you can by all the can. Yeah. You can. I would have taken that one, too. Oh, let's do that one in case I need to challenge something because I would challenge crew of family. Okay. Probably. To save them if things go terribly wrong. Um, alrighty, I'm going to give you a threat so I can use cautious. Right? Or no? Yeah, because you you're getting okay. determination, so it costs you the one momentum plus one threat to get one extra. Okay. Die. You want to buy more dice? Uh, well, you already have two. Well, you already have two successes. Says uh, three dice rerolls. with two re rolls and an yep. assist. Yep, I think I think I'm okay. Okay. Uh, with xenoimmunology as my focus. Okay. <sighs> okay, that does it. And, and there's still the math. math. Yeah, now we just...
this D. Of a mess. Yeah, who's rolling it? Uh, I'll do it. If you fucking kill me. <laughs> and that was that was uh, control medicine, but I just checked the dice. It, it, it doesn't oh, change sorry. the result. It doesn't change uh, the result, thankfully. One focus uh, complication rate. Sorry, I go. thought I had everything fixed. <sighs> okay. Wait, four momentum. No, difficulty yeah. four, so that's two momentum. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, it's brought down to... Oh, you're right. I did that right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yep, yep. Two moves. Uh, so you and Vameth work tirelessly, and everything seems to be going fairly well. Uh-oh. I don't like that. Uh, we get up to the bridge, where uh, Lieutenant Varder, Ensign Aran, and Warrant Officer Joker Makarov are holding up the bridge at the moment. As the captain I'm... is busy and the XO is currently in surgery. Varder is probably looking very out of place in that chair. <laughs> Uh, Aron is uh, shooting the shit with uh, with uh, Joker. I'm just saying, it's perfectly fine to be to be um, to be seasick on your first time. I don't want to talk about it. I know, but we should talk about it. Um, Dad said that it's perfectly normal, and Grandpa said that it. It will wash out. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. If I keep talking about it, I'm gonna puke again. Fine. And you can see Joker's screen around the gills. And... Uh, Aron winks at Barter, and uh, looks back at the screen. So, Varder. Yes? Do you feel like you're going to pass out yet? No. Why would I pass out? Just checking. That, that earns Joker a side eye. Oh, no. I mean, you look oh, okay, a little uncomfortable. Mind. All right. Varder well, will thank the command staffer for information. We're not close enough to pick up a ship on long range scanners, are we? Uh, someone can make the. You can have a science officer make the attempt to scan for it. You haven't really been looking for them up to this point. You've kind of been. Cruising from Seoul to uh, the starbase in in your deep in Federation space. So, unfortunately, we do not have our amazing scanner myth. So, <laughs> so uh, maybe we should. Like, let's crewman Wogi. Yeah, sure. Let's if Wogi's suited for the position, then sure we'll have Wogi here to Wogi do a long is... range. Hmm? Or who? Uh. Or some, I think we should bring in someone new. We should we should start yeah. building up some of our other. Hey, what? A crewman wogi. Oh boy, crewman on the bridge. I mean, that happens. It's no biggie. Varda, red alert. No. Uh, red alert. <laughs> Wait, what? No. Question mark. <laughs> Joker. Please no. Maybe Abana. What? Are we? Are we actually? Ex explanations, Joker. Like someone on the bridge called Red Alert. So yeah, that does actually do it. But Joker. Joker. My apologies. What? <laughs> Were you just joking? Wrong button. <laughs> uh, I'm. <laughs> I am so confused. I'm sorry, life or death surgery, and you're calling for red alert as a joke. <laughs> Isn't it in my name? I imagine Captain Grinning comes onto the bridge at the red alert yep. sound. Yep. What's going on here? 
Just looking at Joker. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Aaron has his head on the desk. Uh, yeah. nothing's showing up on navigation yeah. sensors. Yeah. No hustle. Down, red alerts. Joker, please never do that again. This week or ever. I can try to promise that. No, no, that will not be happening again. Correct, Mr. Makarov? And he just gives Joker just the biggest stink up. Yes, sir. And the captain walks back into his ready. Joker's going to try to stifle his laughter. Krum and Wogi, if you could please attempt a long-range scan for the... Uh, Romulan cruiser Takao in the neutral zone. Also, just because I, I kind of want them to... I want to have our... Uh, it's so long to know this. But it is. Who wants to roll for Wogi? Should I do it? Uh, thinking about who else go in other places on the uh, bridge. I think you probably put Vox at con with Joker. We'll, we'll pull them as we need them, but right now we don't need the uh, fans. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll roll Wogi. Uh, uh, Reason, science, difficulty three, blah blah blah. I don't think he has a focus. I don't think quantum theory applies, does it? No. Or temporal dynamics. Uh, is this the second time we've used him, or the first? I don't know. I've, I've heard the name Wogi before, though, I can tell you that. Now, has, uh, the question would be if Wogi even rolled. Because names come up a lot, but whether it, uh, they don't get the update on this thing. Uh, I think actually we used him a long time ago when we started creating people, but that's about it. I feel creating like we've used Wogi. Well, we'll just consider this as his first time and then build him from here. Okay, um, so I'll definitely do a momentum for that to three die. Because he has uh, yes. nothing, aside from ship, reason science. And the ship sensors science, but uh, uh, is that including the the decrease in difficulty? No. So it's difficulty two. Okay. Wait, wait, good job, bug. I just realized I'm gonna have to talk to myself now. Uh, I already so. rolled it. <laughs> oh, whoops. Never mind, ignore my roll. Uh, already did, no. Uh, uh, but yeah, you gain... Nothing. Uh, you just get it, actually. Um, so, Kuhn oh, okay. detects the uh, craft. Um, although Wogi, uh looks puzzled and spends uh, extra... Doesn't say anything right away, just kind of spends extra... Like, it's obvious to you that... The sen a sensor sweep wouldn't take that long to get a negative or a positive, but Wogi seems to be double checking something. Mm -hmm. He'll he'll figure it out. Who would be back here? <clears throat> Just some other science officer, because I assume there's at least two science officers on the bridge. One for research management, one for actual sensor operation. And that's like science coordination up there. Yeah. Um, Captain, it uh, seems that the uh, the ship that I'm scanning is not a D7 class, but is in fact a Dideridex class. Uh, but it is sitting in the neutral zone. Uh, it does seem to be not moving. Uh, reason unknown currently. God damn it, you didn't do any... You didn't try to put on any kind of funny Benzite voice. Wow, they have to talk funny because they're aliens? Jeez. No, have you, space race. Come on. Oh, God. So come added to on, the list. If I remember correctly, the Daredex counts as a battleship. 
Oh yeah, it's their galaxy cast equivalent. It's like stepping up from a rand into a galaxy. Right. I don't know. But they're still stuff? they're actually having engine trouble, so that bit's at least honest. Oh actually we don't know if it's actually engine trouble, so they can be stopped for any other reason. Oh joy. They want to make fun. Are they near any other ships, planetary bodies? I'll bring up anything like that. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. You guys are heading. You guys are up here. Kismet is on its way to Starbase 10. Oops. And. Wait, I have the graphic. No. Ah, oh, fudge muffin. Fine. Let's yeah. do it the hard way. This. Too big. There we go. No. And take a look at. Let's go look a bit closer. Uh, it seems to be closest to the uh, most popular system would be the Eden system on the Roman side of the border or the Devron system, uh, which is within the neutral zone itself. Uh, the next habitated area would be Starbase 10. Because uh, this is kind of in the Solaris sector, so there's not a whole lot here other than spatial phenomena. Okay. Well, we don't exactly have a distress call, so but, uh, I'm assuming we're probably not going as fast as we possibly can without breaking things, as in like our fastest cruising speed. Up. Yeah, no, you you you, you were kind of this is a meet. You you were kind of coordinated to meet at each other's cruising speed, so that way no no one got ahead of the other. But now they see some speed like they're... nine point some. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if anything, you slow down a little bit to allow a D seven to catch up to you because you're gonna outrace them there. Uh, I personally don't mind waiting, and if they've got troubles that could potentially escalate, that would look real bad if we weren't there. So, let's step up to about as fast as we can without pushing limits. Yes, sir. And right. keep an eye on them just in case something happens. I'd rather be getting information as well as potentially messages than one or the other. Especially when it comes to Romulans. Still going to Starbase 10? Yes. Like, oh, they're stopped. They could actually have engine problems or oh, whatever. That's not terribly uncommon. But if we can get to Starbase 10 faster, so if something goes wrong for them, we can easily jump over to them, if that makes sense. Okay. So it difficulty doesn't change because you're not changing course. You're just increasing speed. Uh, that is you, Mr. Makarov. Hi, sir. Who's doing the engines con roll? Oh, I've got the ship up. What? No, oh, never mind. I see it. <laughs> yes. Oh, there you go. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I wonder why we're going to need all this momentum. Romulans? No idea. Yeah. Uh, Instant Iran, give me insight engineering as you're monitoring the uh, power systems of the ship as you increase speed. Uh, and actually... Uh, difficulty is going to be two. Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, I don't think I have a focus that applies, actually, which is weird. It's reverse engineering or lead by example. No. Do you have... No, I'd be looking for, like, EPS or maintenance or something like that. 
Whoops, no, don't do that, machine. There we go. Well, that would be, uh... We succeed. That would be gerbil. Gerbil. Yeah. God damn. Needed maintenance. That's her, that's her thing. Gerbil on the bridge. <laughs> Why do I get the strange feeling that he's detecting sabotage on the ship? Because he probably is. And that's what did you what do? I do? Oh my god! It's sabotage. No, I haven't gotten anything yet. Okay. I'll do horses. I was making a joke, jeez. Hey, don't blame Pen. I'm currently knocked out on a medical bed. <laughs> you say that like it would stop you. Uh, Aran, roll for me uh, three chunk. Yeah, three challenge dice. Okay. Oof. And I... I shot you a message there, Aran. Uh, so uh, there seems to be a uh, an inefficiency, uh, inefficiently. Um, uh, there's inefficiency, a problem with right the power, the Lieutenant. Is it fixable, uh, Aran? I think we should slow down so I can fix it, but yes, it's fixable. Slow down by how much? By how much? Um, so what's our cruising speed? Like 9.3 or something? Uh, 0.75. 9.75, I... <laughs> it's like, down to warp 9, it's a nice stable warp. I mean, ideally, all stop is best when messing with the uh engine systems, but Warp 9 is a comfortable speed for Starfleet engineers to be running around in the uh, Jeffrey's tubes. Mm -hmm. I'd prefer not less than Warp 8, but Warp 9 should be sufficient. Uh, uh, Mr. Makarov's lost to Warp 9. I don't like this at all. Both ships going to a rendezvous have engine problems. Hmm. Yeah, I'll look into it. Um, give me a half an hour. I'll send someone up to take my place. You have it. 30 minutes for counting. That's... No, not a pink there. And I'm going to go down to engineering. Varger on the bridge in the chair. What goes wrong? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, feel uh, like well, I mean, I mean, passed if, out. I mean, if there's nothing, if there's nothing specific that the GM needs to happen in the captain's ready room. He'd be uh, able to come out to the bridge, especially if we know we're approaching. Uh, especially if he's informed that we're approaching our. Oh, there is uh, something I'm I'm having the captain do. I'm I'm kind of cutting to him in a moment. Yeah, we're not quite approaching it yet. Well, we're we. I mean, we're on the way in terms of approaching, but we're not close. Okay. To I just didn't know if, if I was just sitting here doing nothing for no reason. Yeah. Um, okay. And Aran can, you know, take a couple uh, people with him, just, you know, make it a team, go through, do the thing. Yeah, I should have a team in, in engineering. Uh, beat this. She's looking at a control engineering task, difficulty three to fix the po faulty power system. Uh, complication range is two, just because you're doing it while the ship is moving. 
Ah. Take yourself some there, momentum. I Why did I get rid you. of um, of uh, all my engine focuses? I don't know. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> they were coming up a lot. I was like, right, you know what? It's because I want. Right. It's because I want to do ship design. Never mind. Oh right. Yes. Oops. That should be blank. Uh, reverse engineering or lead by example. If I'm uh, doing this with a, with a team. I'll do lead by example because, yeah, you are personally attending to it rather than sending someone to fix it. Hmm. All right. And it control engineering. Uh, do you wish to use your engineer, your chief engineer folk, uh, ability for bringing down the difficulty or the uh, complication? I have a, a power to do that. As chief, as chief engineer, you have the medical, you have the engineering equivalent what the medical officer gets. You have an engineering cool. team as long as you're on the ship. Then yes, please. Uh, to which difficulty or complication? Uh, complication. Okay. Any momentum spend? Yeah, I'm thinking of it. What do you have, cautious or bold, engineering? Bold engineering. Um, though I do have a lot of interesting talents. Oh yeah, uh, such as so you could testing the th testing a theory past the red line and tap potential. You can theory into practice. You dip know? into one of each, you know, or not one of each, but you know what I mean. A bit of threat, a bit of momentum. Uh, yeah. Testing a theory and theory into practice. If you were doing like an extended task or you've done this type of role already, like if you have to do something with the power system, the same mission, that would kick in. All right. Uh, pass red line. I forget what that does. I'll look that up. I don't think it applies here, though. Uh, it uh, it helps me uh, upgrade things. Oh, right. Uh, such as equipment. Uh, if I wanted to boost the engines when I'm done, then I can do that. Uh -huh, pass the red line. Yeah. Yes, one of those. Uh, hang on. Almost got it. Uh, pass the red line. Is. Uh, engineers understand that safety tolerance oh, is an operating. It's okay. It's always... okay, Gren. We don't need it red. <laughs> Thank you, though. Uh, have some, have a, a momentum and a threat so I can upgrade my dice. Or a threat and two or momentum. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, would that put me at three or four then? I'll put you at four. Four. Good. Four with a reroll. Oh, you've made it. And challenge die for untapped potential. Oh, and you are cheeky too. Ooh, cheeky. A GM out of threat. Okay. Do, do. So nothing gained either way. I don't get anything, neither do you. Oh, yeah, we did. No, we get one. I meant for the challenge die. Oh. Yeah, we get one momentum though. Uh, but yeah, you're able to fix the problem, and when you examine it, like once you fix it, it's just one of those things that happens on starships. You haven't had a refit in a bit, so sometimes things break. We it just happens. have refit. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it, uh, uh, have it ready so I can study the problem on uh, on a pad on on the bridge. Uh, later if it's if it gets slow okay well if the issue is being uh done you know yeah, back I, up to uh max mr makarov yeah, I, or... I turned it uh, off and on again so, yeah. <laughs> can we we go to a new scene as we cut to grenin sitting in the ready room uh Reminiscing a little bit. Uh, well, he was reminiscing, and then red alert happened. He had to stand up, pretend to that, and then come back, look over the case, because uh, there's still, there's the paperwork, even though you were successful, there's always the paperwork afterward of, oh, by the way, it felt this form and this form. It's like, oh my God, I want to do yeah. Starship things. Leave me alone. <laughs> Unless he really enjoys the paperwork. I'm not, I don't mean to speak for you on that account. <laughs> You know, he probably does not mind it more that uh, he probably does not mind it as much as other 
others might. Yeah, nope, that music's just not gonna play. Okay. Let's see. Huh, there. two Ludwingers. Whoa, thanks, thanks, thanks. Oh, there we go. Oh, here we go. Uh, this was uh, right after Captain Grand's arrest, and he was very quickly uh, brought into uh, court martial hearings, uh, or the beginning of the court martial. Uh, did anyone? Did anyone of the crew attend the court martial? I know uh, Penn didn't, because he was kind of enjoying his time in Montana. Varger probably would have. Yeah, Varger would have. Uh, Aron attends because he uh, he helped with the Vex thing. Uh, Efrix. Uh, if I was a lot out of my very busy schedule of medical stuff. People. Yeah. Joker attends because Aron attends. Aww. Oh my. Boom. Um, Romance. I'm assuming Varder is free after dropping off Adler. Yes. And just being talked down from just personally guarding her cage. <laughs> He's very tempted to. I'm missing you. Oh, I'm missing one person. Where is that guy? buried him didn't i no i have to dig give me a moment but yeah you know it's uh, uh people filing in uh various uh high-ranking officials uh stalking the judge counter security officers at the edges a stenographer equivalent or uh, and legal assistants to help pass things but or not quite a bailiff but a person who will hand things from uh prosecution and defense up to the judges that sort of thing uh, the room does look to be a bit retro uh, for you guys, especially because it's like, yeah, this is this is like they, they don't really bother refitting the JAG offices on ESD because it, it works. So why mess with it? There's like EPS conduits in the walls. But honestly, this thing looks like the same thing Kirk would have had in his day. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's like how you have with uh, it's like you ha how you have with uh, current courtrooms. Yes. Where it's um, like, you know, sure, they, they haven't changed appearance since the 1930s, but it ain't broke. And of note, among the uh, uh, among the uh, few people allowed in the room, uh, most of them being uh, crew of the Kismet, uh, there seems to be a very elderly Vulcan. Um, and robes kind of seated and observing oh, the proceedings. Is it that One Vulcan? of you recognizes him. <laughs> And and there's also a commander Draha, a bullion who uh, who has been uh, assigned as the prosecution for the case. Uh, would I know anything about her? Uh, you know, I'll give you because I'm gonna. I, there's a role coming up here. Um, I'm gonna give you a. We give you reason plus con or command, difficulty two, to have done your homework on this officer. Reason, stat, reason, command. Uh, I'm gonna spend a momentum if you don't mind. Uh, law focus come into play. Yeah, she she's a jag officer, so that would fall. Okay, and I have a reroll. I. <laughs> I. Uh, Commander Draha is um, you is actually known for doing plea deals. Uh, that's that's her main thing. Uh, she's used to not being in court. She has very little court experience, um, and she's always found a way to make a case be handled out of the room. And she prides herself on being on saving the admiral's time, the admiralty's time, and not having to waste any more time on court proceedings than is absolutely necessary. Um, not that she's never been in court. She's been at this since she was a lieutenant, so she's had a, she's had a couple years of service, uh, mainly in the JAG uh, branch, um, a little bit in Starfleet security. 
Uh, she was also present. She was also second chair the prosecution of the admiral who overthrew, who attempted to start a coup on Earth during the Dominion War. Mm. Oh, I remember him. She stands okay, up. So, so Oops, she, sorry. So she's, so she's, uh, uh, she has handled some high-profile cases. This is her first time being the first chair, though. She's always been the other person or pleaded out. Oh, but I, I'd be if if she managed to to quote unquote call her maze, I'd, I'd be a I'd be a pretty good uh, feather in her cap. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, and of note of the uh, senior st of the uh, judges, um, they're all of uh, either captain rank or re or rear admiral rank. Uh, of note, the one that all of you would know just off the top of your head would be Rear Admiral Nia, who is your the commanding officer the day-to-day -day officer of the entirety of the 10th Expeditionary Fleet. Which, oddly, Commander Draha did not object to her presence for, because uh, that's one of the options you can do, is that you can object if you think someone's biased, you can object to them being there, and a, re a suitable replacement is usually like waiting in the next room if needed. But their commanding um, officer is generally not an appropriate judge. Uh, but yeah, Draha doesn't Makes no when an at when was when everyone walked into the room. She doesn't raise objection. She just she doesn't seem like he's oblivious. She knows Admiral Nia's there. It, she's just not objecting. She's suspicious. Do you object? Is the question. And do you object to Commander Draha being your uh, uh, your prosecutor I do on the basis object. of bias? I do not. Uh, I do not object to Commander Draha being prosecutor in this case as far as i know she has no uh she has no personal stake in this uh beyond being a particularly zealous uh prosecutor who uh wants to make a name for herself uh however um i may speak up in the uh case of admiral nia um uh what would be a good opportunity raise would, is this at the time where, like, they're saying, are there any objections? Yeah, like, at the beginning, everyone's name's announced. And then at the end of that, before they even read off the charges, they say, is there any objection to anyone who's here? Yes, uh, actually, I have a concern that I'd like to raise. Um, Admiral Nia is one of my commanding officers. I find it concerning that she'd be sitting in on my potential court-martial. Judging in the... Uh... Would you like her to be recused and a replacement put forth? Or do you have a query for the Admiral? Says one of the other officers. More so, I have, um, uh, I have a question for the rest of the judges. Uh, do you believe that the Admiral, uh, Will be able to render a just verdict despite her position above me and her uh uh given her position as my uh, one of my direct uh commanding officers do you believe that she can render an impartial verdict uh the admiral uh in goal um you recognize and uh very the only people who probably recognize this guy would be a, a ron Unless you have an engineering score score of four and higher, because there's no reason for you to know who this guy is otherwise. Uh, but this guy is the is an admiral who oversees the Starfleet Corps of Engineers, and he just he's one of the admirals here. Oh wow, that's that's high. All right. Yeah. Uh, the uh, the uh, rear admiral kind of stands up from his chair. Uh, actually, Captain Grennan, um, I think I can answer for. Uh, the other my other two uh flag officers um that when it comes to high ranking officials uh in the in Starfleet it we find that having the perspective of someone in the chain of command is useful since uh the 10th expeditionary fleet is has a unique characteristic to it and uh if we were to recuse her we would in fact uh, look toward uh, someone else within the uh, rank structure, unless you feel uh, and that it, 
completely your right. If you feel that would work against you in some fashion or unfairly work in your favor, um, then we could seek out someone from the JAG Corps who is on, on standby of captain rank or higher. Because the other part of it as well is that we need to have someone of sufficient rank to stand in judgment of you. So either of someone of equal rank or someone higher. And whenever something comes here at ESD, uh, it can get complicated to get the right people to come in at the right time. But in this case, we can facilitate if that's needed. The captain nods and he says, uh, uh, you know, he just sort of looks to the uh, uh, other two. He says, uh, do you agree with this? They, they just they nod and look at him. And actually, without rolling, you get a quick feeling that despite the guy in red presumably being of the JAG branch, they're kind of deferring to the engineer in the room as if he's done this more. Hmm. Uh, well, the captain just nods. He says, very well, if the rest of the admirals are satisfied, I have no objections to Admiral Nia's presence. He sits down. You can detect Nia just kind of relaxes a little bit like like when you would raise the objection she kind of sat up a bit straighter like don't do it don't do it oh no <laughs> and oh okay <laughs> oh no he's he's just uh that's reason the point looks good on you yeah yeah if anything i was being kind of accommodating to the situation Commander, uh, is there any other things you do before proceeding starts? Any other research or any other questions? Or do you talk to anyone of your crew? Where, heck, most of your senior staff showed up. That Plus one person you... Of... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just saying, that shows them that his crew respects him a lot. Well... Yeah. <laughs> no they want to see him. showed up. We were oh, ordered to, to be here. here. <laughs> Well, if you guys hated me, you'd also come here to see me get my just desserts, so... Yeah. Oh, oh, we're here for that. I was <laughs> promised alcohol. Aron says, wait, that's not why we're here? No, I, I wouldn't appear in a courtroom otherwise. Great. Awesome. Oh, Joker respects you. Joker likes you so far. Don't mess up. Barter and Efrix just shoot her on bad looks. Just like, really? Does Grinna say anything to his crew or ask them any questions or anything like that? Uh, no, because uh, that, that'd be improper procedure. Okay. Grinna uh, Draha kind of stands up from her chair to open up. Esteemed officers, it is known to the Judge Advocate General's Office that one Captain Harmon Grennan has failed in his mission and continued to fail in his mission to investigate the Cowcat Crystals in his role as lead investigator and in his dereliction has allowed for the proliferation and subjugation of the Cowcat people. It is known that he has been in contact with the wanted criminal Irene Adler and has failed by incompetence or conspiracy to effect her capture in a timely manner. It is known that Captain Grennan has been in contact with the organization known as the Midnight Watch and has conspired with them to interests not of the Federation. These are acts unfitting of an officer of Starfleet sworn to defend the United Federation of Planets, its laws, its peoples, and its beliefs. These effects I will prove as our case continues. And Jean sits back down. Be a really good uh, <coughs> bullshit moment, but I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Would it hurt the case if somebody did do that? Oh, you might yes. be thrown out of the room. <laughs> you might be put out of the room. Yeah. You also contempt might be put out your misery. Contempt of court. <laughs> Joker's gonna keep silent, <laughs> but the look in his eyes when he looks at Aron says, "This is bullshit." Efric shoots everyone the mom look. Just like, if you can't say anything nice, leave. <laughs> Let's mom. We're in a courtroom. You have to be quiet. The, uh, the Admiral in red, the Captain in red, I should say, sorry, uh, looks up. 
All right, Captain Grennan, your response? Well, I suppose I must uh, begin by refuting all these allegations placed against And he looks at all four of the uh, the judges and he says, permission to be completely honest with this court? Uh. I kind of look was... among each other like, hmm? And he waves his hand at you to continue. Here we go. This entire hearing and the court case that rests before it is built on the twisting the law of the Federation for political. The diplomatic situation with the Calcut, the Klingon Empire's pressure for the, the Moth planet fall tragedy, and the conspiracy linking all of them together, there are those that would be more than happy to have someone punished for it all, so that everyone can happily move on, like nothing ever happened. And they've decided that that someone should be me. I will freely admit to coming into contact with Irene Adler in the Midnight Watch on a number of occasions. My investigations into the cow kit, of course, required that I do so. If I completely ignored the Midnight Watch as a source of intelligence into the cow cat subjugation, I wouldn't have been doing my due diligence. Even as this storm brewed around me, I endeavored to do as much as I could to complete my duties. And should you continue with this trial, my senior staff will testify to that. And should you insist on dragging this out, I will fight back with the potent weapon I have. The truth. But honestly, before this court, I don't know if the truth will be enough. In the words of Cardinal Richelieu, if you give me six lines written by the hand of the most honest of men, I will find something in them which will hang him. So today I stand before you as an honest man, and I ask, Will you hang me? And Captain Grennan sits down. Admiral Nia looks worried. Uh, the two uh, officers in the middle seem a little dumb. Plus, they don't seem moved one way or the other by either speech. Uh, then again, one of them is a Vulcan, and one of them seems to be a human who has no humor in left in him after years of service. So who knows? A that Vulcan. person may just have a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> and then the engineer at the end kind of looks at the other three and looks. We shall see how much you can prove out your honesty, Captain. I would like to think one of our esteemed and decorated officers uh, within the service can uh, withstand false allegations and if he were in fact guilty would turn himself in without complaint. So I sincerely hope for your sake, Captain, that it is more the former than the latter. Commander Draha, you may proceed. She gets up. She looks like she's going to summon someone and then there's a door chime behind uh, uh from her side of the court she kind of looks behind her and security person kind of sticks their head out disappears for a second oh pardon me a moment officers uh varder and efrix uh you can kind of overhear uh something about uh a uh, diplomat wanted to speak with her, something about a plea deal, emergency, you know, but it's, they're, they're talking rather quietly, but you can hear them because you're like right next to them. Mm -hmm. Then the security officer holds out a pad to Commander Draha. She kind of looks at it. <sighs> she closes her eyes and kind of taps her head for a second with the pad, looks at it again. She waves the officer back. Uh, sorry for that, um, sirs. Uh, uh, at this time, um, the JAG office would like to request a deferral of uh, this and would like to lay aside this particular proceeding as new evidence has come to my attention and certain facts are not in line with my current uh, line. The 
judge. The judge just kind of look at her like, what? We're all here. We all, and it's obvious that everyone kind of, even to you, Grennan, you know that there's usually a board of inquiry step. Like there's usually an in-between before you get to court martial to determine whether or not you even sit down. And they kind of skip that step or at least fast forwarded through it, uh, which is unusual, but you know, not illegal. It can, so. it, it can be done. And it's one of those like, okay, we're all here. There's like an army of staffers like out of the room. There's security everywhere. There's people on sensors making sure no one's doing anything funny. Um, and you're all here. And now the prosecutor is basically saying, can we do this later? So the judges don't look amused at all. Um, anything that proves Grenon's case. Armonia actually looks confused like that. She It doesn't look like it's anything did she seems as blindsided as the rest of them Mamonia speaks up finally well Captain Grennan um, that leaves it to you uh, do you have objection to the deferment uh, or do you believe that a dismissal is in order or do you wish to continue the proceedings now and the captain sends him and says I would like to know what the uh I would like to know what the reasons for this deferral are. What is it that could be uh, uh, changing the prosecution's stance so early into the case? Uh, with your permission, she holds up the pad, and the four of them kind of gesture her to go ahead. If you don't mind, she motions to you to approach you, because legally she's not actually allowed to carry you. May I uh, receive a copy of this as well? And she kind of comes over. She lays it on the table for her, Goes back to her table. Uh, what we got here? And as you read it over, there's a lot of jargon and there's a lot of documentation in this one pad. You kind of have to flip through it apparently the diplomatic federation diplomatic corps is involved the jag office is involved starfleet security is involved and apparently starfleet intelligence decided to ask all the other depart all the other divisions a question which results in responses and uh you're gonna have to do a reason plus con roll difficulty two to ferret out what in the world is going on in this document it okay, is barely uh, disorganized yep i'm gonna spend a momentum can I cyclically use my collaboration card? No. <laughs> so, uh, Do you so need my I, help over there, Cap? Uh, nope. Uh, so I'm going to uh, <coughs> roll three dice. I have a law focus. Yep. You have proficient in reading legally. Uh, yes, Ben. I'm going to. I'm going to use that two momentum to quash that complication. Do I have a reroll? Uh, not on my. Not on my con. Oh. Uh. Oh, and uh, shoot, shoot, hang on. Actually, that's not right. Only one of those is two successes, because I used my command by accident. So I'll spend one from the pool, then. Thanks. But either way, it's... Okay. We got it there. Oh, I'm about to get sent something by the Game Master. All I'm going to hear is Grenin cursing at something. Uh, yeah, anyone else want to take bets on that? Well, you know where my bet is. A long, drawn-out sigh. Adler! Shh. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh, no way. Oh, god damn it. Is that well, a good one, damn it? Uh, okay. Your Honor, um, I believe that considering this, uh, Your Honors, I believe considering this new information that a Deferment would be very, very necessary. Uh, 
Grinning, give me insight con difficulty one. Uh, law focus? Yes. I don't get a moment about it. I'm going to put my money on um, because Grenin's getting this case thrown. The GM has thrown one of us under the bus. Uh. <laughs> that wasn't a no. No, no, no. Hang on. Hang on. No. Uh, I'm going to defer this. I'm not falling in. This is too easy. Okay. Uh. I, I'm, I'm not going. I'm not going to. I'm sorry. I'm not going to ask for full dismissal. This is yep. far too easy. Yeah. I, I just wanted to let you know the option. Just want to make sure you're aware. Yep. Yep. Um. Uh. Your 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 honors. Uh. I would uh like to request uh uh a deferment as well. I have no objections to the prosecution request. May the for them. The th uh, three of them look at the engineer, and the engineers, they, neither of them objected. What are you looking at me? Like, he doesn't say anything. It's a look of, what do you look at me for? It's obvious what we do. <laughs> and then the guy, uh, the uh, captain in red kind of nods at him, looks at Nia, drugs, takes up the little hammer, hits the bell a few times. This court martial is deferred until further notice. Then Grennan, resume your duties until you are summoned once again. The captain nods, and he uh, turns to the prosecutor and says, Prosecutor? Yeah. Did you have something to say, Captain? This doesn't sit right with me, you know? Neither I, but procedures are procedures. To continue would have been unjust. I'll just have to figure that this I agree. out. I agree. Continuing in either direction presented before us, I feel would have been gross mismanagement of justice. Well, if you excuse me, Captain, I have a new line of inquiry to chase. As do I. She kind of turns, nods at the assembled crew, and then leaves. The captain is going to walk over to the crew, look at his pad, says, Well, <clears throat> looks like and is entirely possible that the Starfleet JAG is no longer considering me a suspect of the crimes I've been accused of. Huh. Do we know who they are? Yes. The JAG office uh, has decided um, uh, in fact they received a confession. Mm. Adler? No. Rear Admiral Ludwinger has confessed to all of the charges that I've been accused of. And Get out of town. That... Yep. Is also claiming mm -hmm. that Irene Adler is an agent of Star Wars. Wait, what? Indeed. For whatever reason, the Admiral's, <laughs> oh, shit. the Admiral's taking the fall for me. Or at least that's how it looks now, I think you can see why I 
what we call immediate dismissal of these of the charges against there's more at play here yeah it yeah is. yeah it's not funny and if i get the charges missed against me i lose any opportunity I might have to ferret out the truth. Armonia yeah. steps in through the door and walks up to you. Admiral? Your new orders. Holds out a pad to you. I need the Kismet uh, moving now since every ship scattering it and uh, Starfleet moves on. Even if all this is uh, tied us up a bit longer than I wanted. Is there any indication as to how long it's going to be before wheels of justice start spinning again? The further away I stay away from the Jack Corps, the better. I have no and hopefully, And hopefully it stays that way, for your sake. As for Ludwiger, that's... He said he'd do whatever it took. And I think I believe him now. Good day. Good day, um, Is Grennan being reinserted to captain, or is he just going to stay as a commander for this? I don't know. Uh, you look at the order papers, it, it's, it lists you as captain. Okay. Well, just I guess asking, we're not you know. <laughs> so you think we have time to grab something neat before we jump off? This has made me hungry. I don't think we're going to have much time to enjoy our shore leave. Looks like it's being cut short. Something to do with... Oh boy. This is going to be a trip. Everyone, we're heading to the neutral zone. Fuck. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> and we... And we... <laughs> New scene. Uh, as we cut back to the ship, as Greta remembers uh, the parting words of wisdom um <laughs> is Veronica the only one on the ship that doesn't have a real issue with Romulans <laughs> and so uh, if there's nothing else then the captain is going to walk onto the bridge <sighs> well I'm getting out of your chair <laughs> thank you I will be Um, Captain, we have had limited power problems to our engines en route. Uh, Lieutenant, uh, Ensign Aran has fixed the issue, but um, the vessel we're supposed to be rendezvousing with is also having the same such issues. And is also not the class of vessel we thought it is. It's a Dideridix. A Dideridix? Sir, that's what our long-range scanners tell us. Unless they're using some kind of uh, fuzzing, or sensor scrambling, or deception, uh, then that's what they are. And, uh, they haven't asked for assistance yet, so we're just continuing en route to Surrey Sen, and that is all that has changed since you were last out here. All right. Suggestions? Um, I hailed them, I think. We're already heading to Starbase 10 as fast as we can without pushing the ship. Well, wait, 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 wait. Make sure it's right, though. Aren't, um... Isn't, isn't the point of this mission, though, that we're supposed to rendezvous with the Romulan ship and then go to Starbase 10? Or were we on... Our Meeting with on them route? at Starbase 10. Ah, okay. And, and escorting them from there to Starbase 21. Ah, okay. Oh, well, not escorting the ship. We're escorting the Romulan First, Senate member. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. I, it's, I, I it's a transfer. It's I forgot that we're going from one Starbase to another. Mm-hmm. 
the thought was the quicker we get to Starbase, we might be able to get over to them if they do require assistance. Or if there is something more to it, given we are still monitoring the situation on scanners. Woogie will inform us if anything develops further. And the myth is on we're going Windows updates right now. <laughs> we will quickly check on sickbay as finally uh, Commander Pend has finished his uh, neural uh, re regeneration process and he's just being he is now being durably regenerated to seal up all the seams of his uh, surgery. You bet. You and uh, uh, Doctor Efrix and Doctor Vermeth have been at this for hours. <laughs> mm -hmm. Almost done. We now can add this to the list of successful operations of this type. Might even write a paper about it. Slip skills pen. <laughs> As she's saying. <laughs> Anything I can do to help? No one's here. Oh, uh, if you wish, we could uh, co write the paper since we can submit it to both Starfleet uh, Medical and to the Vulcan uh, Medical Institute. That's very generous of you. I accept. All right. And now all we have to do is remove the neural calipers and he should be able to wake. Moment of truth, then. Moving the calipers. And he doesn't wake up. Oh, God Fucking damn. knew it. I was waiting for that <laughs> threat spend. Mm -hmm. I panned. Something's wrong. Indeed. How's his vitals look? Uh, it would appear that he is asleep. <laughs> and nice relaxing surgery. Did... Let's just, even with the calipers on, go to sleep. Did you put me in a coma again? Oh, the doctor has to figure out if that's what's happened. No, I can uh, fully believe right. Penn's just fucked off back to sleep uh, a while under the effects of neural calipers. Yeah. Let me uh, give a, a brain scan to see what his uh, neural pa patterns look like. Is he sleeping or is he more than that? Do sleeping pens dream of sheep? No, I hate you. Cautious. <laughs> Uh, what's my complication? Just back to one. That's just back to dreams of piglets. Xenobiology? Yeah. Or emergency medicine if it's bad. Um... Gain a momentum. Uh, I'll, I'll send it to you. It's a little complicated, so just give me. Yeah, four letters coma. <laughs> C O M F. Oh, and um, at some point when we got back to the ship, Barter would be like, "Hey, Captain, that Vulcan that sat in with us is um, uh, running his own intelligence circle. You know, just just to inform Grennan that that is a thing, and the Vulcan who sat in that no one else knew <laughs> is a spy master." <laughs> Just, just so you know, you know, clearly what you needed to know to keep you at ease, Grennan, right? Uh, Grennan, please don't have a stroke. Or do it, oh. gives it for something well, else to do. that's good then. That's a healing sleep cycle. Oh, uh, don't forget, uh, the cortical stimulators can also be uh, used to revive patients who are in a coma or otherwise unconscious by one. Oh, He's not. It would appear that he is sleeping. 
Just he's actually just <laughs> streaming impact. He's in rim sleep. Give him a story. Called it. I, I beg your pardon, Doctor. He's, he's asleep. Yes, it's a it's not an uncommon side effect for tolerites to fall asleep during surgery. Smack him. God. I think it may be healthiest to let him rest. He hasn't gotten much recently. It can only be beneficial to restart his systems, as it were. Very well, Doctor. Unless the captain has need of him, and then we'll wake him up. Right. She starts getting people to clean up. As the rest of the staff around you are kind of like, what? <laughs> Like, everyone's hard to stop. Like, did we just kill this guy? It's like, oh, he's just no. asleep. Oh, thank God. <laughs> he's sleeping, everybody. They start packing things away. Grinnan, like, leans forward and puts her hand, head in her hands. Or Efrix. I don't know why I said Grinnan. I mean, Grinnan's probably doing that, too. Uh. Grinnan almost lost his best friend. Oh. Nope, not saying that. No, that that's already happened. Um, Brennan doesn't really have a best friend. I mean, Barra. I mean, he would have lost his longest serving crew member. Ah, he doesn't care about that. This is true. It's Joker, but they keep Barra still around. Brennan just doesn't know about it yet. Ah. So I don't want to give him a call up to the captain. Captain yeah. Dr. Efforts to Captain Grin. <laughs> Seems yep. like Commander Pend has pulled through the surgery. He's <sighs> doing well. He is currently asleep. <laughs> well, Just about gave us all heart attacks, but he's in true sleep, so not a coma and not dead. Great. Well, uh, We've been struggling so hard to get him to take a good night's rest. Uh, I think we ought to let him have it. That was my intention, Captain. No! Very well. Of course, we can wake him if you... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> no! <laughs> of course, we can wake him if you need us to. Understood. <laughs> Was that sound? Did that come no. from Pent? Yes, it did. Who was that? He's just talking in his sleep. Like that's what Ifrix actually hears while she's on the call. Just new. <laughs> God. Oof. He's just throwing a fit in his sleep. I mean, it is Pen. Um, <laughs> same. He's dreaming of shooting sleep with his pistol. Shooting sheep, right? Yep. I said sleep, didn't I? Yes, I you mean, did. I mean, maybe you need you sleep. I mean, maybe not. It's possible. He could be shooting Adler in his sleep. I don't like this. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. no. Oh, no. Well, if this no. is the ocean, I don't, I didn't, I've not decided if Pen can swim or not. Uh, you seem to be in a place full of mist, Pend. You're a drop, motherfucker. Just mist? In all directions, a white mist and a sense of the ground, like there is somewhere you're standing, but you can't really see anything there. It's sort of trippy. I am going to pick a direction and walk. You walk for quite some time. Um... You get a sense of progression, but you're not seeing anything in new. Uh, 
Um, but you do get the sensor moving. I'm just going to say out loud. Look, if I've died, can someone just let me know, please? Eventually, you come upon a the body of Varro. Uh, it seems to be seating atop some sort of surface. I'll head on over and try to check for a pulse. As you get closer, the mist kind of parts a little bit. And some figures come into view. If I can find my tokens, they'll come into view a little quicker. There we go. Mm -hmm. See two Romulans in what looks to be some sort of uh, surgical gear, and they're picking at the body of Varro and she seems to be a Ferengi uh, who had it was uh, prying at his uh, head with some sort of instrument that you're not quite familiar with can I see surroundings or can I just see Varro and the three of us just them it's 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 almost like like you had to be like like ready to touch Varro's feet before those three came into view I'm going to put my hand on his leg. Feel someone put their hand on your shoulder. Do I know this person? Do you turn around? Mother dearest. I turn around. You see the face of your mother. God damn it. And you wake up. Yep. Oh. Matters. Oh, I see you didn't kill me. That is against regulations, yes, says Doctor. <laughs> Well, that's very good to know. Thank you. Nice. You are indeed welcome. I just had a strange dream. Yes, you gave us quite the the scare falling asleep while you were induced. Us. I saw Varro. What? I, I saw his body being looked over by some Romulans. It was like a Ferengi and my mother. Your mother. Uh, she's a, she's an admiral. Do we, do we have anyone on the ship who can, I don't know, look into memories or look at, try to look at people's dreams? No. <laughs> oh, Barter. <laughs> I want to go into Pam's head. Um. I don't even know if I can. Uh, Do we have any psychics or telepaths? I mean, the meth. Because they're broken. For meth, would you feel comfortable trying to search for a specific dream I've just had? For meth sighs and looks at the two of you. Despite popular opinion, not all Vulcans are trained in the art of the mind meld. 
I mean, as I'll note to you guys that uh, mechanically she doesn't have the talent for it. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> but that's what she says in character to explain that. I mean, technically we could give it to her. But you could. To... I mean, we. I think Vada has been experiencing some telepathic episodes, hasn't he? He has, but every time seems to cause him and often the subject great pain. No, often it's just him. Mm. Pen's girlfriend wasn't so good either. That was the only time that's happened. Though. Don't worry. That you know of. Well, that's because yeah, true. every other time you've experienced it, it's been with an experienced telepath. Pen does not. He is intelligence. He's got a guarded brain. Don't worry. I am going to come up to Lieutenant Vada. Oh. Pen to Vada. Lieutenant Vada here. Do you think you would be able to, with your newfound telepathic abilities, to try and access, I don't know, a dream or a, or memory. Oh, would the captain hear this? Yeah, he's he's just behind you. I have pen. absolutely no idea. I've I've just seen Barrow. Uh, mm. And the captain goes wide eyed. But before he can say anything, it sounds like a message is coming. That's actually Varda's job. Uh, let me press buttons for that. Uh, the signal seems very faint. It's hard to get a good read on it, as if it's coming from a great distance. You're going to need to do a roll. Okay. Uh, it is a roll known as uh, the GM forgot. So he's going to look it up. One moment. Like, I'm pretty sure that tactical is where tails oh, technically go to, right? I always yeah. remember Worf doing that. Yeah, no, you're right. That That's how I do it on the Hadfield. Um, it's going to be... Whoa. Uh, it's going to be... Uh, first, it's going to be a... I know I'm saying that over and over. I'm, that's more me prompting myself to stay focused. Um, control engineering role, difficulty three, assisted by comms plus engineering. Oh, that's I've got a 12 to that, it's not the worst. I don't have a focus for that. I mean, do you want to spend the momentum for a dot? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> difficulty three, um, hmm. It's patchy, but I will try to clear this up, sir. As he tries to clear this up. You want a hand? Uh, could be appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> and since you're on the bridge, Ron, you can totally help. You could you just pull up the, the the signal and you try to tune the sit the ship to hear it better or get a better read on it. And so I, I don't have any, anymore. I don't have any focuses, but yeah, okay, we're most of the way there. Hey, hey. <laughs> Ooh. way to go, Ron! Lucky, I guess. And make life interesting. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> what we course. need. Is... Yay, because Th things be more interesting. I mean, I can make them more boring. We could do a bunch of uh, shuttle uh, mail runs. Please? 20, Starbush 21 and Earth, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a can waste I of do a class. I deliver all of Hijack's security records. <laughs> As a, you can write a few of them if you like. That's... <laughs> I'll write a few. Hush now. I mean, I'll do it in my P14. Don't you worry. You mean we'll do it in your P14? Whoa, all right. 
PG thirteen. What? <laughs> Snuggling. Jeez. Jeez. Uh, oops. Okay, you would get that, and you would get that as well because you're looking at it. Uh, wait, did I set the difficulty right? Oops, sorry. One less for that. My bad. Okay. <laughs> so we get a momentum. That's still a. Uh... You oh. got it on the dot for that roller. Okay. The difficulty was three. Yeah, no. The difficulty was three. Fuck. Okay. The difficulty four. Um... I can hey, Ron, you want to lead on this one? I can reverse engineer it for you. If that works with an encryption, sure. Yeah. Let's see if we can find out what the Romulans are saying. Increase complication of one to reverse engineer signal. Oh man. Okay. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. Did five, right? Four, four. Four, okay. You could give him a threat to get an extra die as well. Get up. Yeah, I might as well. Bold as well, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, that would proc his bold engineering, so you get a reroll. That's also useful. Rolling three dice and having a reroll in the back. Yeah, I'm rolling one. Good thing you've got re the reroll. Okay. We, oh, yeah. Whew, we passed by two. That probably comes down to Varder. <laughs> we're getting it on the console and Varder's like flicking most of it to Iran. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, you're, you're the one who knows technical stuff more than me. uncomfortable silence as you're decoding it and figuring out what exactly you're looking at. yeah i'm uh... decoding and translating probably yeah. Ugh, translating wrong I, uh, depends on how well the universal translator works with that i mean it's a language yeah but it's also coming down from a code so Um, oh, um, yeah, Captain uh, recommend changing heading to rendezvous with the Romulan ship. They have been attacked. I need 10 minutes at full stop, and I'll get us there at warp 10 uh, or something. 10? I don't fucking know. I don't know if we want to go to warp 10. 9.9, 9. we can do. I, I, I understood. Um, well, I want to go to town. Uh, um, no, no, I do not want us to turn into a bunch of lizard things. <laughs> Some of us wouldn't turn into lizard things because we're not all humans. Yeah, Aron, geez, Grenin. Aron stands up and fucking runs to, uh, uh, to engineering. Uh, to, whoops, to to use Charter the is going to basically Varder, forward that Varder, to Grenin's console. Bring to, Varder, bring us to yellow alert. Yeah, Mr. Macaroni, plot a course to the Romulan vessel. Maximum Oops. warp. I'll stop for ten minutes, goddammit. <laughs> yeah, that's where we're... <laughs> it's ten minutes so that he can get everything prepped for that. And when he says ten minutes, he means five, right, Aaron? Uh, Yeah, he means five. 
but he needs to get to engineering. He books it. Gerbil, Gerbil can show you the quickest way. Follow the Gerbil. Gerbil. But uh, no, Varder just forwards the uh, decrypted stuff <laughs> to Grannon's chair. Wait a second. Um, are they across the neutral zone? Oh, oh they're no. in the neutral zone. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry. They, are, are they, but they're in the middle of the neutral zone, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. And whatever it is, crippled in the Deradex. Well, before we cross into the, uh, before we cross into the neutral zone, uh, Mr. Harder, um, uh, see if you can raise them. Let them know that we are on our way. Hi, sir. I'll attempt to raise them. Very long range hail. <laughs> Which I am proficient at doing. Okay, uh. All stop or full speed for Makarov? <laughs> full stop for now until we can get. Aran's engine upgrades done is basically what he's doing. I think he's going to try to do the red line thing, right? Hitting the brakes. Have I understood that correctly, Aran? Ship at all stop. Yeah, and yeah that's the idea. Um, okay, I'll, I'll settle this in order here in a moment, so I'll go to uh, Varder, and then up to Aran. Yay! Uh, Varder, uh, you need to make a hail at really long distance. Um, that is hilariously... <clears throat> Yep. Mm -hmm. Barter with all of his engineering. Um, and also I, nothing to assist with this. Can I give an assist somehow? Uh, you could, yeah. You're on the bridge. Just attempting to get a connection, you can probably, yeah. Um, Let's see, so that's a 12 still. It's something useful. Why do I... Oh, whoops, that's the wrong sheet. Wogi, get out of here. <laughs> Grim and Wogi's just trying to get ahead of you. No, I'm doing it. He's going to roll a reason science, so... Um, I reasoned yeah, that two. That is possible. Thanks, Wogi. That was very helpful. Oh, <laughs> shit, I entirely forgot to do that. Let me check if... Um, I didn't fail a roll. I, no, I didn't. Okay, good. I forgot to up my complication for mental tasks. Ah, uh, so I get like 10 more threat, right? No, I didn't actually crit fail any of those. <laughs> okay, fine. I just I just scrolled up and checked for everything that I rolled. <laughs> I did not get any 19 or 20s. We'd all know if I got a 20, because you would all be making fun of me. Okay, um, but as a mental task, and I'll momentum for three die, because <laughs> I need it. And I don't get a reroll anyway. Eh. Great. Let me. Um, I've got a medal to get rid of that. It's all on you, Joker. Damn it, Joker! <laughs> well, we tried. I'm a pilot, not a. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're both not exactly intended for this, but we tried. Yeah, you try to make a connection, but the distance is just garbling. If they hear any. They'll know that something tried to contact them, but you can't even send across a an acknowledgement mm -hmm. ping that you heard them. Uh, what is that? If I get dirty, I'm going to be so, so we know we can't get through? Uh, yes. Uh, at least not at this distance. Captain, I cannot raise them. Not from here. All right. Uh, well, recommend alerting Starbase 10 as to our intentions. Understood. If we're going to be crossing into the neutral zone, we're going to want as much plausible deniability as we get. <laughs> uh, before you do that, we'll cut over to Aran, who has uh, hurried himself down to engineering. And the check we're looking at is... 
Uh, you're so you're trying to do past the red line, I assume. Yes. And they are risky. Yes, you could blow out your systems. That would be terrible. Um, it's almost like someone tried to blow out our systems just earlier. Oh boy, this it's almost, uh, it's almost like we've got a saboteur aboard. We've never had one of them before. Yep, and I'll stab him. All right. Um, so, Oran, uh, how much uh, momentum are you going to try to generate here? Because that you, you're kind of setting the difficulty, the bar you're shooting for, and that's how much momentum you're going to create out of this. Mm. Uh, I'm looking for three, I think. Okay. Red line's weird. Uh, okay, yeah. so difficulty three. It's going to be a daring engineering task with the difficulty of three. I have. Oh, are you doing the push the red line thing? Mm -hmm. Yes. I oh have. Oh god, you're uh... pushing the you're pushing the engines. Oh, that's a really bad idea. Don't worry, you already signed theory, up on it. Testing a theory mm -hmm. uh, used earlier because of engine problems that I looked into before. Yep. And theory into practice, which gives me a free uh, an additional d10, d20, um, and reducing the difficulty of the task by one. Yep. Uh, so give him a threat so that you at least have a reroll. Yeah. I I also have bold engineer. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Give him a threat so that. And I'm gonna spend one of those threats to bring it back up, and the one you gave me to bring it back up to three. Technically, right. one you have so had to give him you're... two because you got a, you got a free dice from a talent. I That's don't true. know. Does, does, well, does it count as being purchased? Uh, anytime you gain a die, it counts toward because you can only ever roll five d twenty at any one time. Ah, uh, okay. Then give him another threat. So actually, I didn't lose the threat. I just spent the two you gave me. Mm. So I'm so up at roll. four. Yep, you have four with a re. Cool. And it's his crew uh, bringing it down by one, right? Or can yeah, he use his engineering crew to bring that he down? He can, by one? yeah. Yeah. And I will. Uh, Kisma? Uh, does not assist. He's yeah. making it do things it wasn't really designed to do. The computer cannot keep up with this man's hands. A comp one. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow, I can spell the number two. I okay. To fix T W O, I missed the W, so I put the number two there. Anyway, um just like share that bit of typing fail. Um so yes, you succeed at pushing the engines a little harder. What this means is that um, every time that you use the engines for anything, uh, you generate. Uh, he set it to three, so generate it. It generates three momentum whenever the engines come into a roll. Downside, um, it now the complication range is up to is up to four now because <laughs> it's pushing itself as hard as it can. I see. Aron runs back up uh, to the bridge. Ten minutes, ten minutes hasn't passed yet. Uh, and he says, fucking pun shit. You can court-martial me later. What the hell did you do? I According recommend you... we use it before it explodes. Overclocked, baby. Joker, you can see on your on your na on your comm panel that the engines are currently reading at, at 130% uh, output. That's that's not good. I mean, it's not unstable. It normally you break things when it goes above a hundred percent. Joker's gonna pick something up from his uh, navigation table and throw it at Iran. What a button that's beneath a panel. Good luck. <laughs> He's got things on his panel. Yeah, a sextant or uh, like a already chewed gum. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> a hula girl. I was thinking a hula girl also. Yeah. <laughs> a dog. 
he's got a dinosaur. No, no, no. He's he's got a dinosaur. If you get the reference, I love. Yeah, I get the Pressure reference. Pressure sudden step up with the train. Yeah. Let's go. Um, and for her, I guess is hating Starbase Ten. I assume. Uh, this is Starbase Ten. Go ahead. Uh, we have received a distress call from our the Vulca uh, the Romulan vessel we were supposed to rendezvous with. They have been attacked by an unknown vessel in the neutral zone. We are currently moving to assist. Tell them about how fast we're going. Mm -hmm. As oh, fast as we possibly can. Uh, Kismet, um, we have no readings of any distress call for subspace. Are you certain it's the correct ship you're looking into? We're not authorized to go into the neutral zone unless it's the the ship that we're that was supposed to meet us. Um, <laughs> I can forward them the message. <laughs> Uh, to convince uh, Starbase that this is the right thing to do, it's going to be presence, con, or command difficulty of... Uh, it's only going to be one because you do have some tangible evidence that there's a distress call. Yeah. Uh, and it does say that the person we're picking up is their presence command. I actually have not bad in. <clears throat> Need to I do not think I have a focus. No. I don't think lead by example comes into this. You can talk to the captain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you'll be fine. Yeah. Um, I'll uh, momentum to three because <laughs> I should. Besides, it's a mental task. Yes, I know my complication's gone up. I am well aware. <laughs> There's no complication for the mental task going up. I mean, you gained a momentum out of it. Yeah, so we can we'll have one left at the end of this if we quash it. I'm assuming quashing it is a reasonable yes. thing to do, right, guys? Yep. I don't know. Yeah, well, I go with the captain over Joker, given he called a red alert earlier. Uh, Starbase Ten acknowledges. Uh, be careful. Not everyone. Uh, they know you're supposed to be there. We know you're supposed to be there. Uh, but certain enterprising sub commanders may decide to uh, challenge you when you enter the neutral zone. Understood. Kiss me out. Uh, we have a clear uh, green light, Captain. All right. Proceed. Bring us in there. Uh, uh, bring us in, uh, uh, b b Mr. Makarov. Wow. Speed. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Once we probably cross into the neutral zone, we can try hail them again. It might be easier. Great. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Please. And I'm blow guessing up. their first response will be, "How dare you decrypt our transmissions?" And um, then followed by a roundabout way of saying, "Please save our green asses." For Mr. Makarov, it's going to be Control Con difficulty four. Uh, to warp there in a timely manner. Um, comp four for and the ship. Uh, yes. Is it just the ship that has that comp range? Ooh. Double checking? I think it raised. Because if, if it's... Uh, if it's Actually, broke... yeah, if it raised the comp range for one thing, it, it, anyone involved tagged with it. Unless it's something weird like I gave to Vart. E. Yeah, yeah, comp is I up think to if four. The task also increases its complication range of the task over. I'm giving you threat. How much? How much should I give him? Uh, You'll uh, fly in. Uh, so hang on, hang on. Um, first off, what talents do you have? Because for some reason, I can't see your sheet. Wow. Uh, my sheet is also kind of outdated, and I haven't been able to update. You I should work on that. Yeah. You're also I, full. I, reasonably I, getting I'm assisted going. by Vox. I've switched out bold security for go. bold now con, see it. and shipboard should be navigation. That's from my time as a security officer, and I switched it over, but can't click anything. Oh, I know how to fix that. Doop. Now you should be able to mess with it. 
Oh, you're the best. And I believe Vux will be assisting because she's there on the con. Yep. Uh, you and this is a new scene, so other crew support that you spent has reset down to zero. So you are now only using one crew support right now. Yay. So here's what I'd suggest then, uh, Joker. I'd suggest uh, spending your value aim uh, uh, ready to go to buy uh, to buy two successes. You know, to buy a die with okay. two successes. Then sp- Doing it. then spend a momentum and a threat for a third die. Oh, yeah, that sounds reasonable. Yep, and if you have yeah. to do any, and, and if you have to do any re-rolling, I can give you my. De- yeah, well, I've still got the bold con too. So, oh, do nice. You, 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 oh yeah, oh yeah, bold con, bold security. Okay, great. Uh, you got one. We gave okay. you one. I misheard, and I was like, "Wait, uh, I'm not gonna guess. I'm gonna ask." <laughs> so one threat and one. Well, for... so, so the way it works is we had to we had to spend a collective two in order to give you a third die. So you're only mm. rolling. Copy. Okay. All right. So comp range four. Yeesh. Onboard navigation as well. Focus. Do me proud, boy. God, this is gonna screw up. So Remember, bad. I rolled with comp range five and didn't do anything oh. bad. You've so, got re rolls. Uh, question. Well, yeah. it's not. It's well. Hang on. For, well, the problem is, it's not enough. I might have to give him. Uh, I might have to give him my determination. It was a difficulty because... what four? Mm-hmm. Well, I gave with I two spent... successes and those two. That is enough. Well, just about to say, yeah. Vox was also assisting, but I've got a question. Mm-hmm. So she has the talent dedicated focus for astral navigation. Mm-hmm. Which she's helping plot a course to get there quicker. So would this talent apply even though being a assist? Well, so so hang on. Here here's the thing though. Because okay, I'm gonna answer gone. I'm gonna answer uh, um uh Penn's question first. Um, the Ash navigation would have applied if she had done plot the course before you jumped. Because you jumped without plotting course, she can't assist with that uh, focus. Okay. That's Not fine. to mention that. Well, so there's also this problem now that um. Because Makarov got a complication, got any number of complications, that means that immediately the um, we don't get bonus momentum from past the red line. Uh, oh, we, we oh, and the rest getting... of it. Never mind. Yeah. So, so, oh, God. So, wait, control. So let me re- you, just wait, let me cover this for a second. Books. Um. So, hang oh, on. No. So, here's what I think is going to have to happen. I'm going to have to give. Joker, my determined because. Well, let me re-roll first. Well, it, you're still gonna have to because you you rolled two complications. Three now. Yeah, and he can't re-roll the. Uh... And he's we've got if he rolls a two, we can use that to squash for one complication. We still end up with a complication, but you know. So what I'm going to suggest you do is, um, uh, GM, I want your ruling on this. If he spends his determination, can he then use his bold con afterwards? Uh, yeah, because it's once per roll. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to give you my determination, Makarov. Um, and uh, use your ready-to-go value again. Reroll two dice. Rerolling two dice. Let's pray, okay? Is it? Uh, it's enough to squash one. Wait, wait, but you've got a reroll. I just don't have a reroll, yeah. Okay. Okay, and that's enough and to that's squash one. Enough. Yep. That's enough to squash that complication, and we succeed at the task. And now you actually get those. Um, and now we get three oh. momentum. Yep. 
what was being imparted there as well is that if that complication stood, for those of you who don't know, uh, talent, uh, you would have suffered uh, breaches to the engine system equal to half the ship's scale. Oh, nice. <laughs> Ouch. Round, rounded up or down. Um, you always round up. Oh, yeah. never mind. My, I don't even. My metal requires two momentum to avoid those breaches, <laughs> which we didn't have. Yeah, just. Uh, it's not even a past, metal. It's past the red actually. line. Is I, I. I love it. I. I don't it's know. Great. I, mess. I, it's a mess of an ability. And I love it. Uh -huh. <laughs> we use it for going, and we're actually passing and going there at faster than usual speed. Yes. So has our. Okay, so we passed. Though going into combat with this will be harsh. How long does it last? Until a complication is rolled. Oh. <laughs> Wait, but what? You can't just turn it off? I can turn it off afterwards, but. That we don't need it anymore, but it'll probably happen once we drop out, assuming we don't immediately end up in combat. Yeah, I was gonna say I would like to make the order that as soon as we approach the general vicinity and drop out of warp, I, I would like to turn that off. That sounds like a plan. We'll like see if we have the time. Uh, yes. If we end up in combat, I'm just ramming. <laughs> Please no. no. Anyway, let's let's yes. So you jump into the system. That's not correct game. Thank you, though. The, uh, the assist on that. Nice whiff. Let's put in the... I should have fixed that earlier. Ah! Anyway. I have tokens for this. Where is everything? Everything's out of whack. That's not it. So on sensors at, I believe, long range, I'm going to make sure I'm not lying to you there. That's way too far. Yeah, I was going to say, that's a, that's a bit much. It's long range, oh. right? <laughs> oh, <laughs> eh, I forgot how the thing works. There we go. Uh, oh, that's actually, uh, actually, you would have jumped a lot closer than that. There you go. So you jump and you see that it is now at long range to you. God darn shoe. <laughs> uh, there is a planetoid nearby in the system. Uh, just you are in a uh, actually no, you're in empty space. I forgot where you are. You're in open space uh, with the Dedaridex class ship uh, sitting pretty in the. Oh, and you're at yellow alert, not green alert. I don't like the sad ass music either. Okay. Um, Miss, uh, Mr. Ron, bring the engine back to standard operating procedure. Mr. Varder, see if you can raise the Romulan vessel. Yes, sir. Uh, I, sir, do we want Woogie to be scanning their ship? Not at the moment. I, I just uh, want, I want to get a, uh, want to uh, get a beat on them. Beforehand. Oh, is it actually we'll let, a, a do that? Okay. We'll let Ron do his stuff, and then I'll do the uh, calm, calm stuff. GM, calm range. Um, the engines aren't involved, so it's one. All right. I mean, they uh, are, but you know what I mean. The engines aren't helping you. <laughs> okay. Uh, Reverse engineering. GM. Uh, modeling and design lead by example. Uh, reverse engineering because you're actually uh, re undoing what you just did. I love reverse so, engineering. So, uh, give the GM a threat. Oh, I, I was gonna say give the GM a threat because otherwise, there's no way you can really make that roll. Right, fuck, right. I'll, I'll, I'll just. Oh, he can't use his engineering team to reduce the difficulty by one anyway. No, I like, keep forgetting you've got that. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was hasty. Hasty. 
Uh, but yeah. yeah, I'll let you use the engineering team to bring that down by one because that, that is a Thanks. power you would have. Yep. So don't, don't jump the gun on those. Speaking of jumping guns, ship is our power. <laughs> Oh, and your power should be reset back to normal because it's been a few scenes. That shouldn't be down anymore. Uh, but yeah, uh, the modifications are uh, taken out, and you go back to one hundred to normal uh, operating parameters. I'm thinking that it's like a special case with uh, some isolinear chips in it. Uh, like if you chip an engine, it goes first faster. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Oh boy. So that should be bigger. It looks better. That was a really bad idea. I no, it, it's fine. No, um, <laughs> prison. No, it's not for uh, control engineering for hailing people, right? Uh, yes. Uh, control engineering. Uh, difficulty zero. You want help? <laughs> Thanks for your faith in me. Oh no, no faith. Faith of the heart. Um, because I've got. Well, I kind of want to spite you, but whenever I do things for spite, it goes horribly wrong. <laughs> Macaroni, if you could blue, please. Blue. Um. It, be oh so gracious in assisting me for this, and I'll. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll I'll do that. Good. Wait, I'm sorry. Yes, I Everything momentum for an extra have. die. Um, I I believe I thought about saying it, but then I didn't actually say it because I'm intelligent like that. <laughs> Same. Wait, what Wait, am I doing? You are rolling an assist. Ooh, captain. I so either I'm killing the captain or I'm spacing myself right now. <laughs> uh, well, well, yeah, wait, uh, ev sorry. everything cut off for like two minutes. Okay, yeah. What's uh, going Macro, on? if you are rolling a control engineering uh, assist roll, if wait, you would what? be so kind. What's happening? Hailing the Romulan ship. Can I use interrogation? Mm. Answer or die. We're not interrogating them. Shh, don't worry about it. Oh my god. I have to put a security detail. Oh my, four successes for a difficulty zero. I. I did you proud, guys. Wait, why would. You risk complication just to get an extra. Yes. Alright, copy that. <laughs> Is, I'm guessing the automated message is something very general. It's when you've been hearing. It's that encrypted signal. Oh, okay, it's just the... Uh, Captain, it's only the previous signal we've got repeating. That's unfortunate. Uh, Crewman Wogi, anything on sensors? Who wants to roll for the Wogi? <laughs> For the Wogi. Uh, <laughs> pinned one, two, since so Pen's been asleep so fast. Uh, yeah. Wogi, 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 Wogi. So I'll say the captain can if he wants to make a roll. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I've been rolling for the ship all night. Go on, captain, sure. roll for the Wogi. <laughs> we all know Wogi. I'm not allowed to roll for... <laughs> I prefer for you easy. roll myself. You almost <laughs> killed Kino on her first time out. Yeah. That was terrible. <laughs> Um, so, uh, what am I rolling here? I'm not telling you now. But he's rolling for the Wogi. Okay, fine. For the Wogi, it's, uh, Reason Science, uh, difficulty of, uh, two. Okay. Assisted by ship's, uh, sensors plus, um, science. Would this count as a separate activation for him? No, it's yeah. all in the same session, but okay. for the purpose of crew support, you're now at two crew support. 
Just because I wasn't actually sure how that worked, so that was me asking because I didn't know it all. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to spend a momentum, bring us to three dice, and the sensors bring the difficulty down to two. Right. Uh, Foggy! <laughs> uh, so spend that and one more to crush them. Wogi Y. Wogi is now our mascot. Let's paint him on the side of the kismet. Just thumbs up. I oh. thought Pins was our mascot. No, he's our XO. That's different. Uh, no, I'm the cadaver. <laughs> for for the you're not dead. I saved you. For the for the for some field, their, Give their, me time. Uh, their mascot NPC is their and uh, Andorian transporter chief named Biss who single-handedly took out, like, a room of Orion, single-handedly. Mm. I mean, let's be Sounds real. Right. But we have a gerbil. I was gonna say, let's be real. Gerbil's the, the mascot. Moo. Because she's uh, my favorite. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just double-checking something. Uh, it's, you're scanning, it takes a bit for the computer to make sense of everything it's seeing, but it looks fairly badly damaged, is the short version. Mm -hmm. Like, it's been hit by, it's been under uh, some heavy disruptor fire. Disruptors. Oh, and boy. it's suffering from uh, plasma torpedo damage. That's kind of why it's getting worse, because plasma torpedo fire just, if it's not dealt with, kind of just keeps, keeps burning going. away yeah. until it destroys the ship. Life signs? Uh, there are life signs. Uh, oh, okay. So it's... I'll give you access to the sheet so you can see how bad it is. How we can't... Hmm. Going over there is risky as shit, though. Yeah. Because they don't know we're here if they're not responding yeah. to hails. It's a trap. It's a trap. Well, I mean... I mean, that much is obvious. To talk to one of their people. I, my my two thoughts right now is either Romulans who don't whatever want whatever was going to happen to happen, or it's Klingons who don't whatever want whatever was going to happen to happen because they both use the same tech and cloaking. Like they're probably still here, but it's an unknown vessel. That is the curious part. Could I sneak up on the ship with my fighter? And try to evade all scans. Try to um, what? Oh wait, that wouldn't work in this situation. Never mind. Don't mind me. Uh, Captain Gretting, you should see the Dederdex uh, ship stats in the under Kismet characters. Uh, yes, I do. Oh Jesus! Oh, this thing's about to blow up. Nope, it is somehow stable. It did not suffer enough to to, say, to go to destroy it. It's at exactly its scale in engine damage, which just disables it. <laughs> One more breach that area, and yeah, you're gonna uh, you're gonna have a problem. Other a shields breach. down. Uh, yes. I have got a bad idea, Captain. Yes. I'm all yours. Um, I have no idea if it's possible to identify a ranking officer on that vessel, but if we beam someone over, explain the situation to them, and beam them back as a means of communication instead of beaming one of us over and hoping that we don't get shot before speaking, it might also come across as abducting someone, but either way is a bad option. Why don't we wave out our windows? That relies yeah. on them looking. They might have more pressing issues. You want to lean out the window, Joker? Be my guest? <laughs> I mean, I'll beam myself over. No. We, no. We, could be, we could beam over some sort of data storage device. Uh, they may not be capable mm, of leaving it. Oh, wait, I'm not there. Don't beam tech, Captain. People, <laughs> fine. Tech, not so, not if so needed, good. I am. Like... I am willing to go over there. <laughs> and the um, the uh, uh, let me see. It's it's because uh, I'm rolling for Wogi. Wogi looks over to you, and you know he's still got the whole puck puckered uh, 
uh, benzite lips. I'm detecting 2,000 life forms on board the Romulan vessel. <sighs> so you're just going with the accent? Uh, how's their bridge? Uh, like, we can probably see that ourselves. Yes, I'm sorry. If, if it's missing. Bedside voice. Uh, there's damage to the bridge, uh, some structural damage, but it, it's holding. Okay. Because my, my thought might, that would make sense for the repeating messages of everyone on the bridge was killed. And yeah, the Darius X classes have a shit ton of people on them. Like, can we even have that many people extra on our ship? Probably in a pinch, but like not comfortably, right? For a lunar class? Uh, I don't know. Lunar yeah. class, rather than lunar. Lunar is a different thing. Uh, no. <laughs> Didn't think so. You can maybe, in a pinch, you can get a thousand. And that's like, that's an under emergency circumstances. Yeah, and then we've got the shuttles that we could squish more into, but that's only like, what, a hundred more? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Less can, than that, actually. Probably more like 50 more. Can we hail Starbase 10 and ask for another ship to help us with it? I doubt they'll be able to send anyone else out into the neutral zone or be willing to do so. Right. Given it's not technically a distress call to general quarters, it's distress call specifically to Romulan vessels. We're gonna get blown up. Nah. Um. <laughs> Captain. Yes. I am willing to be transported over there and try to establish contact with them. I may as well go over with you. Oh, can Cap I? Captain, if I may. Yes. I'm uh, going to request a, uh, a Federation tug from uh, Starbase, uh, Starbase 10. Might be needed. As I said, I doubt that Starbase 10 is going to give us much of anything. We'll be able to give us much assistance. I'll, I'll take my chances. We right. might need it. See if you with any, but I'd be surprised if you get stonewalled. I'm never surprised if I get stonewalled. <laughs> um. Oh, different jeez. Captain, do we have anybody that the Romulans like? Anybody from our side that are, have a friend in the Romulans that can contact them for us? <sighs> well. Varder might have one, but he's like a ground pounder, low ranked guy. Isn't there one in well, the tenth still? Well, it'd be great if, uh, great if, uh, Kobe were here. He, well, but, uh, I guess I'll just have to do. Oh, yeah. The only other option I can think of immediately is to try the same thing that I did with the Tereshkovka and, uh, that significantly hurt the other party. <laughs> but with, uh, Joker being a previous security chief, if Varder goes over, he can take tactical. Vux can just take over helm. You know, etc., etc. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, I want to join you guys. It's fairly preferable to keep someone who can fire the guns on the ship in an area where the ship, uh, another ship, just got attacked. Does that make sense? I can no longer fire the guns. Don't worry, Varder doesn't have a focus in it either. <laughs> well, we have um. Well, we have we have uh, Dreth, if we need him. We do have Dreth. Dreth, who's like, I know guns, yes, <laughs> and explosives. Sounds like you might need me with you. 
you don't have it to run. We're we're not trying to fight the Romulans, Joker. I'm I can be persuasive at times. Persuasion with a knife is not what we're looking for here. I believe we are technically on friendlier relations with Romulus at the moment. There we go. I'm going to be I'm gonna be very I'm gonna be very cordial. And you're gonna you're gonna regret it. USS Kismet, this is Starbase 10. Go ahead. God, he made it. This is uh, Kismet, um, Chief Engineer, uh, asking for a um, tug. I know that sounds strange, but uh, we have a uh, wounded Romulan vessel uh, that needs towing. I'm sure that they won't uh, won't um, be angry at us if we uh, lend them a hand. Sure, we can tell them, but we're not sure if they want to go back into Romulan space or into Federation space. Uh, this is at, more. at this time, we only have... We're on tenuous ground as it is, Kismet, uh, with you being in the neutral zone, only because a lot of diplomats on both sides agreed that the Kismet was the one to meet with their ship. Uh, that's the only reason they're being allowed in the, across the neutral zone in the first place. If we bring in a new ship into the area and they detect it, it could be construed as an attempt to uh, illegally cross the zone. A tug is unmanned, my friend. It's... Oh, I I know that, uh, Kismet, but uh, the Romans uh, are sticklers for the rules whenever it benefits them. If you can well, get don't authorization... Well, torpedoes to it, then. I have authorization from my captain. I can get... I can I can get Admiral Nea on the, on the subspace channel, if you like. You certainly you can like do that? that. However, here's the problem. It isn't Starfleet recommendation that we require. We need permission from the Romulans to invade. Now, if you can, if you can get an order from your to admiral invade. to violate uh, the neutral zone treaty, then that's your chain of command, and you can deal with that then. Otherwise, Starfleet uh, Starbase 10 is not going to be party to violating without the author express authorization of Admiral Nia or of Romulan uh, delegates. Oh. Why don't you use that big antenna of yours and get a fucking message to the Romulans, please? You're going to have to give me a presence plus uh, command difficulty three, since you're being very short with this guy. He's not really inclined to help you right now. <laughs> and that is just to avoid a court martial. No, no. Example. Uh, I'm going to have to say no. dug this hole. I'd say give him a complication range as, as well. Uh, and to be fair, the ship does assist oddly. Uh, psh, I typed the wrong thing. There we go. Ship does assist with comms command because presumably you're letting them know this is actually the kismet. No, we're not just pranking you. This is an actual emergency for data. I'm not making this up. <laughs> Uh, and I could up the complication range, but it's diff three command role for an engineer. I, I, I'm fine with where it is. I'd like to buy another die, please. I, uh, with threat or with uh, momentum. I mean, let's, let's go with threat. Sure. Why not? I can think of five reasons why not. Only five? Hmm. Awesome. Oof. Crap. Mm. Mm. You know what, guys? I, I I don't know about you. I don't want to squash that complication. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think so. Yeah, no. Play to lose, baby. Play to lose. Yep, I want, I want this how, how, however, Aran, uh, the dice is com uh, the momentum is communal. You can spend the two momentum to quash it if you like, or you can. Uh, I don't know if you spent determination yet or not, but you can. Oh, you did. No, okay. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, you didn't. I, oh, I thought you did. Uh, you could spend yeah, a turn to try to uh, re-roll your fails. Yeah, I'm gonna use old habits die hard. Yeah, if this I think guy that is. Uh, <laughs> if this guy is uh, either uh, either a former flyboy, a um, a yellow shirt, uh, or just an, in the engineering corps in some way, uh, I'm gonna fast talk this guy. And old habits watch die get, hard. Watch him get. Watch him get okay. too complication. Uh. Do I? Is it a re-roll or is it just I can re-roll the entire thing? I, I re never remember. Uh, you can choose how much of your dice pool you want to re-roll. Normally, if you have at least one success, you can just leave. 
I'm gonna if you want to re-roll it, it, you can. <sighs> well, you failed, but... Uh, and, yeah, the complication's gone. Um... All right, Kismet, look. Over this distance, we're going to need you to shunt some of your power into the signal to maintain a a link because we're going to be daisy chaining your signal over to where Admonia is. And we have to find where she is right now because she's not here. Fine. Uh, and the amount is going to be. I mean, she was at Earth last time I heard Zar, but she talked about not being near a Jag office, Jag office or whatever. I don't know. This starts taking a lot of power. We're gonna be uh, oh my gosh. I'm a I'm an engineer. I get more power. That's how I do it. Yeah. Not to mention right. we already have a ton of it. Uh, while uh, Oran is waiting for Starbase Ten to connect him with Admiral Nia, uh, what are the rest of you doing? Captain Grennan's prepping for uh, an away team. It's just the two of us. Um, yeah, because I want to uh, actually wait. Um, Dr. Efrix, I want you to come along as well. Okay. I mean, they'll have injured. Yeah, that makes sense. On my way, Captain. Uh, I'd like to pick up some, before I leave Med Bay, pick up things that I might need to treat. And I see Especially the from uh, Plasma. Uh, torpedo bay. So is Commander Pend gonna return to the bridge? Yeah, because he's not leaving those two idiots on the bridge by themselves. Ben yeah, at the moment he is, and just for your comfort there, Efrix, uh, he is, now that you've done the surgery, he is clear for duty. Ideally, 24 hours rest is nicer, but it's light duty. Yeah. Uh, he does still have the old prosthetic right now, because uh, you haven't had a chance to set him up with a new one yet. Yeah, I need our engineer for that, so... <clears throat> yeah, but or I would like our engineer for that. All he has to do is sit Yay. in the chair. <laughs> um, leave him that alone. Um, the old panel in the what? chair explodes. I think, don't worry about it, Captain. Um, so yeah, Penn walks onto the bridge. Wow. I mean, that's what captaining is, right? You just You just sit in the chair all day. So you it's guys are here. It's comfortable. So the away team assembly is at least Grenin, Varder, and Efrix. Mm -hmm. Are you bringing anything else or anyone else with you? Uh, I've yeah. got a sword. I don't know. Uh, we don't have much. I mean, we probably don't have a lot geared to treating Romulans, given I don't imagine we've got them on the ship. Yep, and I don't really bring and we don't want to bring heavy weapons onto their ship. Should we bring... Should we do... I think we're good in not bringing any... We don't have, like, emergency transport, like... I'm trying to think of, like, a hidden transportation. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just talking in terms of, uh... I, I don't think we should bring any supporting characters with. No. No, oh, that's fine. I was just thinking. Uh, so it, uh, my kit um, comes with like basic treatment stuff, right? Yeah, my kit has a lot of things that are. Uh, the only thing I would be I would bug you for from the science book. Whoops, I'm in the wrong book. Mm -hmm. Would be weird things like a subdermal bioprobe or mm -hmm. a stasis unit. You know, things that you wouldn't have in your bag. Yeah, they probably have a med bay, whether it's functional or not. Like anything in the science thing that's, aside from bio bed, uh, uh, that doesn't have an opportunity cost, it's assumed that's in your bag. In your bag. stimulator, okay. cortical, yeah. Okay, that stuff is all in there. Okay, yeah. that should be that should be enough to, to field treat anyway. And uh -huh. hopefully they have a med bay that's functioning. Okay, <clears throat> diplomat security doctor, got it. Um... <laughs> I don't think it exists yet, any kind of 
emergency transporter thing or an emergency small beacon kind of like, oh, well, they're mm -hmm. taking us prisoner, but this can be hidden. We can just kind of yeah, turn that on emergency later. Trans it's called an emergency transponder. It's uh, opportunity one. That sound like a good idea to have, guys? Yeah. Yeah? yeah okay. Sure. Well, we'll uh, get one of them, and I guess Barter will be hiding it. Should we take suits just in case they no. suffer breaches? No? Okay. They have 2,000 life forms aboard, and presumably life support still because of that. Uh, At 2,000, how many can normally be on a Tenteridex? Especially with this badly mauled. Oh, there was more. Yeah, I'm imagining they had like 3,000, <laughs> 3,500. Uh, so to, to hide the transponder, uh, you set what the difficulty is ahead of time, and that's what you're ready to hit. And that difficulty is how hard it is for someone to find it if they patted you down. That That's their difficulty. So you call one, two, three, or even five, or however much. And, and say, I've got to meet that first. Yes. If you don't meet it, you still have it on you, but it's just not. And it's a control security. Okay. Uh, control security. <laughs> okay, Stitch. Yes. Um, is this a physical task? Yes. Okay, good. Complication is down, but then I can put it back up again anyway. Um, would guerrilla warfare or survival? Yes. Okay. Um... Do I want to be cheeky? Yeah, surely cheeky. Um, you can have one threat. Sure. Oh god, there we go. I almost recalled all my stuff. That would have been bad. Yes. Um, so I'm looking at a four. You're shooting for four? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Vada just keased, is it? Yeah, it's a full prison pocket. All right, you have emergency transponder that is well hidden. Uh, who knows where Varder put it? I'm imagining it's in his shoe. I said, who knows? I'm not even sure Varder knows now. Um, he ate it. It is actually just like a part of the earring, so it looks really inconspicuous. Does your earring look different? Does no one notice? Seriously, it's this big thing that looks like a bullet. How do you not know what that is? Um, I thought you got gauges. I thought you were pretty cool. Uh, any other preparations for the away team? Not, I don't think no, so. No, we're not going over there to fuck things up. We're basically going over to establish contact. <laughs> sure you so, are. Yeah. Uh, we Commander Pend and uh, Commander Pend and Joker. Uh, Ron's still trying to contact. Uh, is. He's not, he's getting through, he's getting forwarded to one person to another. He's getting there. Um, but you have your the away teams assembled. You're currently at long range to the uh, disabled Romulan to Daredex. Um could we move to medium range and could I bring up the to Derex on the screen? Uh you can kind of see it from here actually. You're within visual range. Um then could I do a scan to gain more inf insight on the ship? Uh, you could spend momentum t for extra questions, because the ship has been scanned already by uh, your science officer. Well, the reason why I'm asking is because I've got Starship Expert. Oh, um, that role, actually what I would ask for is Reason Con Difficulty 2 using that focus to kind of off the top of your head know what a Dederodex normally would have. Yeah, let's say I'm, I'm trying to go that route and see if anything is off with the ship or if the damage it's taken is off compared to what it's been reported. So I'll use the focus of starships. There's actually a talent specifically for this to kind of roll. It's very specialized. Oh, that yes. 2,000 is actually more than what it would normally have, apparently. I will give you a momentum. Hmm. 
think that's technically a success. While uh, Pend is pondering what he sees on the view screen, what is Joker doing? His best. <laughs> oh. Oh. Pen did give him an order. I'm going to be moving to medium range. I'll note you're still outside of transporter range. Yeah, take a shuttle. None of us can fly. That would also require them to open the doors to let us in. And no one's answering hails. So. And we've been through this before. It didn't go well. Yeah. That was so, a minefield first. So yeah, we should just have... Um... Um, we should just we should just have Joker bring us in a little closer. Uh, before that happens, I would like to order Wolgi to scan for sensor wakes. You're trying to find the uh, if there's any cloak chips in the area. Yeah. All right, that's a reason. Uh, oh, uh, one moment. Oh, no, I'm right, I'm right. It's reason... I know what their role is. Your role's different. Uh, reason, science, role. Uh, difficulty opposed, because... I am um, directing and using my medal. Which medal? You have multiple. Uh, no, I've only got one. Oh. So really? I'm going to turn my direct into a... Two successes. Oh. How does that... That's uh, a specific I've got medal, the Christopher Pike... Middle of, I think it's middle of Valor. Yes, so I can turn a my direct into a crit. Very nice. Oh, that's. Wogi is going to. Uh, I assume this is going to be Wogi. Or whoever's at sensors, by assume it's Wogi. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna give him uh, spend a momentum third die. The Wokester. Two. Sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, one die, uh, two uh, dice. Wolgy boy. Three dice. And walk, 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 walk. And don't, uh, uh, you said reason science? What the hell are you doing? Spying five dice? Yep. Uh, what is it? What is he rolling? I think it's reason science. Reason science. Assisted by the ship's, uh, sensor science. So don't forget the, uh, diff for us goes down by one. Yeah, so essentially they have to get one more than normal. One of their successes gets eaten by your uh, ship. Kids made us hungry. So that's a total of six successes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, beating it by one. Wow. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> that turned out perfectly. <laughs> oh. uh, they will suffer a complication. Oh no! No, sensors. that doesn't work. The yep. sensors bring it down by one. Yep. Never mind. Yeah, you see them. Yep. Do you, could you show me where the Romulans are, please? Hold on. Ready? Or Klingons, or whatever the fuck. That they looks are. pretty Romulan to me. Let me just figure out. They're probably not that far away. Give me a... Yeah, the message said this This damage can only be done by something of a Dideridex type ship. Yeah. Also, I was looking at it. Apparently Dideridex has 1,500 as an accommodation. I'm going they to... are there. Comes down to the away team. Away team? Uh, away team reports to the bridge immediately. Right. Oh, he's like got is being, It's like our trip is being postponed. Do you want hey, me Ron. on the bridge, Captain, or down in Medbay? I think down in Medbay would be the best. Right away, Captain. Do we catch you later, then, Efrix? Uh, can we open comms? 
One moment. Uh, Ensign Aran, uh, yeah, you've gotten Admiral Neo on the line. It took forever in a day, but you got her. This is Admiral Neo. How can I help you, Ensign? Hi. Uh, James and Aran on the Kismet. I, I have been you. requesting. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I've been requesting a uh, a tug from uh, from uh, Starbase 10 to tow a, uh, a ship that we're uh, um, trying to uh, well uh, assist in this case, and I'm not sure that we have the capacity to uh, move them in the direction that they might want to go. Uh, and I've been talking to this <sighs> this comms officer on uh, Starbase 10 that does not want me to have Be nice around. I am being nice. I'm not using all the bad words. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Admiral. Um, she raises an eyebrow, just doesn't say anything, though. <laughs> would you mind talking some sense into them? Uh, he looks over uh, over from the panel that where he's sitting onto the view screen that where I think that the ship is currently. Or, it, no, it's not. Oh, never mind. It's still cloaked, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there is a Romulan Warbird on screen. It's just not the one. Um, I have a feeling that this might uh, improve our uh, relations with the Romulans. <sighs> well, <No>. bullshit. <clears throat> you want a. You're requ requisitioning a tug to assist you? Yes. Um, <clears throat> a tug is unmanned and can therefore with the proper coordinates go all the way to Romulus and back if it needs to. Uh, I understand that. Uh, can I get a... I'm willing to sign off on this as long as your captain's willing to sign off uh, being responsible, temporarily responsible for the tug while it's uh, deployed. Um, and it becomes his responsibility at that point. Uh, he's not it's on the bridge currently. It's probably, it's probably, a good, probably a good time for the captain to walk out onto the bridge. Yeah. Uh, Captain, I have Admiral Nee on the line. Could Captain you sign off walk. on this, please? He walks over to the uh, the terminal and says, Admiral Nia, we really have to stop me. You're requisitioning a tug, I understand, Captain, and I need you to sign off be being part of, temporarily be assigned to you as a fleet vessel, at which point you are in command of it and are responsible for it and all its crew. Do you understand? I, I thought they were on Yeah. They are. I'm sorry. Uh, tugs are unmanned, Admiral. That's uh, that's what he's pointing out again. Uh, this tug would not be. There would be pe uh, persons aboard, a crew. Oh, In fact, we're sending out. We're sending out uh, the nearest one that can help you is a uh, get uh, that I'm willing to risk is a uh, Sydney class vessel that can get out to you. Uh, the right. uh, marathon. Well, all right. I'm willing. I'm willing sign off on that. I'll handle the diplomatic yeah, And when like they get captured of... Joker's gonna roll his eyes Seems like Pend wants to say something uh, Feel free to interject there, Pend Yeah, just just trying to let that play out as much as possible, but uh, Captain, I don't think that's gonna be necessary Why? Um, probably best if we end the call with the Admiral would it be at least uh, uh, prudent to instruct her to keep this tug on standby, just in case? Uh, standby, but not at the moment. Sounds like a plan. Alright. You the word, Admiral. Currently, stand. Keep that tug on stand. Sounds like things a little bit more Alright, I'm going to give you the... F I'm going to send you the form. And uh, if you, and I'm going to give you the substate code, the marathon. If you wish to requisition them, sign off, send me the signal. My officers will handle it. And after that, you can call the marathon and direct them as you need. I have a very busy day, and I had to step out of a rather important meeting to take this call. So I'm not taking another one in, for the next four hours. I'm sorry for disturbing you, Admiral. Not, not your fault. It's just the life of 
fleet management. Yes, I suppose. Have a nice day, Admiral. Have a nice day. Kiss me down. It's a nice day in fleet management, yeah. <laughs> Do you ever think that she hates us? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I will order the kismet to open c comes to a specific location. Or rather, she doesn't hate us. She dislikes us with a passion. She likes me. She introduced me to the Everest. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy, but where's the Everest? Shut up. <laughs> uh, Mr. Uh, Arab. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes, sir. I need you to open comms to this location. Yes, sir. So, con engineering difficulty two. Uh, I'll spend threat for an extra die and use bold. Rerolling one. Very nice. I feel like we should try to get between oh. the two ships. Oh, hey, they hear you. That's the wrong dice anyway, but too high, I think. What they're doing. Ooh, they actually get a threat out of that. Uh, you send a signal. Signal's received. Cloaked vessel. This is the USS Kismet. Please reveal yourselves. And they promptly warp away. <laughs> do, do, do we see it warp away? Oh yeah, the, you can't. You can't cloak. Well, you can actually. You can warp while in cloak, uh, but you. But since you're staring right at them, sensors wise, they may visually not be there, but you can see the wake, the signature uh, kind of appear. Yeah. So, uh, about that tug. Uh, hold off for now, considering we've just had a, what I assume was a cloaked Derridex hanging around. We should um, establish contact with this vessel and ensure they want assistance before sending assistance. That's fair. So in that More case, than us being here. In that case, uh, I say we uh, continue on. Pretend. Um, press the button. Terminal. Here are the command codes. Just what I say, you're dropping in and out here, Grant. Uh, oh. That's <clears throat> us receiving a message? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Well, let's uh, are on. On the screen. What do we got? Comms open. <laughs> Starfleet vessel. Do you copy Starfleet vessel? We hear your light on. This is the USS Kismet. We indeed read you. Kismet. <clears throat> I uh, couldn't contact you while the enemy ship was still nearby. They would have fired if they knew I was still alive. This is the ambassador, I'm guessing. My name is, I am Senator Dathia Kolek. I am requesting an emergency transmission be sent to Andon's Landing. They have an imposter there. Andon's Landing. Why does Andon's Landing sound familiar? <laughs> the Artemis. Uh, oh. Oh, cool. Are we going to have a crossover? Um. <laughs> no, the assistance to support that. Kind of... And officially, I request your assistance and authorize your ship to save the crew of this vessel. Right. Under my authority with the Senate of Intergalactic Affairs. 
All right. How do we want to do this? Quickly, please. Life support is failing. <clears throat> the hair's uh, getting a little thin. We'll send over uh, medical to... No, that's probably a bad idea. Maybe but if we can ends. take about... If we can take a portion of their crew that will extend their life support while we either trek to them and get them out, or we call them the tug, but that would require him authorizing another ship. I mean, could we send some engineers across? Here's yeah, that's what I was going to think. Fix that up. Um, yeah, the idea I have is that we... <sighs> we dock with them, extend our life, the two pens. life support, and... Um, and then um, I try to fix it. In that case, well, hey, here, oh, God. Um, so we should. Uh, You're yeah, cutting here. out pretty bad. Yeah, you are cutting out horribly. In a second, uh, we should instruct him prepare your uh, prepare your injured for transport to our vessel for treatment. Uh, that ought to give our engineering teams more time to work on your damaged system. Uh, we have a uh, Federation hug uh, that we can call in to help tow you back to Romulan space. Your assistance is appreciated, Captain. Or Commander, I presume you're a captain. Uh, Grant, let's get that organized. Um, Captain, uh, Captain Grant into sick bay. Doctor Efforts here. Get ready. We're about to have a lot of injured coming in. Yes, sir. And she'll call in everybody that's on call and on duty. Only easy day was yesterday. Uh, that means Iran should be organizing some engineers there as well. Yeah, should I also make the call to, uh, to the... Uh, agreed. Um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Makarov, as it stands where it's station keeping, I want you to coordinate a um, shuttles running back and forth uh, from the to how, bringing over injured. Copy that. Uh, shall I get security stationed on any spare quarters and medical we have? Agreed. We're bringing over Romulans to uh, one of the top Federation vessels in the 10th Fleet, uh, having a increased security um, uh, increased security protocol would be. Uh, a good idea. Initiate uh, security protocol three. Hi, Captain. Uh, Captain, would you like me to assist Mr. Macroff with the shuttles? See to it. Would you prefer me down there overseeing it personally or up here? Pl uh, pl uh, I think you'd be. I think you'd be better served. Uh, Handling uh, flight control matters from up here on the bridge. Copy that. Actually, uh, actually, no. I'm sorry. I I want Pend handling things up here on the bridge. Okay. Good thing she had a reroll. Uh, I want Pend handling things up here on the bridge. Uh, Mr. Makarov, I want you to head down to the shuttle bay. Copy that. Going down. I'll I'll get some of the con staff to meet down there and assist. We'll be using the friend. We can probably use all of them if we set the con staff. Well, it's the the friend has uh the is the one that can handle twelve. Years. I just want to make a. I just want to use my determination.
um, determination of when shit goes wrong, figure it out. Because we've got a heavily damaged Romulan warbird, um, the Derek's in front of us. Yep. I mean, you were right both times, but yeah. So I still succeeded. Because you were determination, yep. Yeah. Yeah, because that technically is a purchased die. Yeah, it's a die. That's kind of why that matters. <clears throat> so that means things can still assist you. Yeah. Yes. Uh, actually, yeah, to that effect, uh, Makarov, you can assist Pend with the organization, with either Presence Con or, in fact, Control Con, because you're actually there. Old Engineering. I assume when Threat there or on. I need to turn up the temperature in here. It's going to... Tick. Tick. Gained a momentum off of a run. Is that settled? Uh... Uh... Oh, sorry. Uh... Barter, you can do either... Con if you're going down in person, uh, you can do control security, or you can do present security if you're commanding up from the uh, bridge. Difficulty two. Oh, security. Uh, task lead by example because I'm down there. Yes. That's why he went down there. <laughs> I'll uh, give you a threat. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, so I'll send Vux with Makarov so she can fly the Neruda to get an extra like six people and one presumes a new Could it be... place uh, I imagine that once we get that started some Romulan shuttles will probably come out and start doing the same thing and I think the Romulan shuttles are bigger sure the the macro or... yeah they sure are bigger hmm? sure good a captain captain Is it reasonable to suspect any sort of hostiles in the air? Uh, we'll keep an eye out, but currently it seems that we've driven away the worst of them. I mean, that's what this, this scan was for, to find any cloaked vessels. Sure, I'll do that. And Ensign Iran, uh, as, at, once you got, you kind of put in the signal the hail off to Marathon. Actually, that is uh, going to be a control engineering task, difficulty of three, because they're pretty far away. Yes, sir. I got so, would he, yeah, me. Uh, wait, would his, would his, um, hang on. What was, um, would his, uh, theory into practice come into play here? Because he's, Again, yep, it doing would. Because he's repeating a role he's already done. Cool. That so brings that's... down the difficulty to two. That's true, yep. Uh, but so the I, role's I, the I, same I, from before. Uh, except for lead by example, right? Yeah. Alright. So, yep. rolling three. Yep. Nice. And the ship. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. So that's, uh, let's see. Pull. Uh, in addition, three momentum. So we're at one foot. Oh, we're down to three, I think. This is Commander Andes of the USS Marathon. How can we... Hi, um... Ensign James and Iran, uh, engineer at um, the USS Kismet. I um, bring you orders from uh, Admiral Nia that uh, you are to uh, um, converge on our coordinates in uh, in the neutral zone to uh, tow a uh, Romulan ship. Very well. Uh, send along your files. We'll look them over real quick. Yes. I'm sending them now. You see the person kind of look off screen and nod at somebody. And they kind of stare off screen for a second. Yeah? Okay. 
All right. Uh, we'll get your location as soon as possible. Uh, your our orders show that you're the commanding vessel. So what's our status? Green? I assume yellow since you're in an emergency situation. Or are you at red alert with uh, taking fire? We're at yellow. Um, okay. There is a possibility for a uh, red alert at the, since there was a cloaked vessel around, but it uh, left at high warp. So, uh, thanks for the advice. Keep your you... keep your guard up, and uh, we'll send over the sensor readings that we had. Very good. We'll be at you. Uh, it'll take us a few hours to get out to you, but we'll uh, we'll push our engines as hard as we can. Thank you. Marathon out. Well, that gives oh, us a yes. few hours to get them the the wow. warbird stable. And I'd say we'd just tow it to Starbase 10, given that's where they were going initially anyway. Yes. Oh, Sydney classes are ancient. Yeah. So is that actually a captain there, or was that a commander on that ship? Commander. Oh, yeah, it does say that, Derp. I'm guessing Varder was successful with organizing security as well. Yes. Yes. Uh, and Captain Grennan, is there anything you wish to do before the scene and the episode ends? I think everyone, I think I delegated properly. Yeah, all the bases are covered, and you're getting reports from all sectors that every station's prepped. There's a ship on the way. Your flyboys are getting ready. Your security are all set for visitors. Medical's all set to go. Engineering's all set to go. It's just a matter of the process of rescuing and disembarking a ton of people and helping stabilize a ship you were, Starfleet knows very little about. I mean, we know more than we did before the Dominion War. It's true. Yeah, you're aboard a bridge that seems to be working all in fine working order. And, and you're not being longer. shot at for once. Well, oh, I was going to say, actually, no, I still technically am under investigation. Yeah, you know, silver linings. Is there anything else before we cut off? Uh, yeah, I can't think of anything. Aron just sighs in relief that everything's going well. Knock on wood. Doing our jobs too well for the Captain to get anything done himself. That's a good right. change. And that is the end of the episode.